Alright. Hi. Hi. I now have more, like, negative associations with New Londo than I ever have before. Oh no, why? Because you were here for two and a half hours yes, the other day. Well, you know, um, I could have been there for five hours and that didn't happen. Yeah, you know what, you could, you could have, yeah, yeah. So, I mean... So, I know I was a bit firm with you, <laughs> but I think it's good for both of us that you finally drained the water because now we can start yeah. this by going to the Four Kings. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, but, uh... Hi everyone, hi Matt, hi Dave, hi Captain, hi Mackenzie, uh, where do I meet you? Just... Um, now that the water is drained, you can summon a new Londo. So my like sign anywhere? is just... Yeah, my sign is outside the stairs. Which stairs? The stairs that you take to get to new Londo. From the shrine? Yeah, you just go down the elevator and out the ladder. I should have the stairs, I should be there. Okay. Hi, Luis! Welcome! So this is like a double feature day for people because I premiered our Death Stranding slash Final Fantasy trailer yeah, reaction. Yeah, the thing that you said you weren't gonna, you I weren't gonna release publicly. I, I said I might release it for Patreon. It, it wasn't like 100%, it's like how I feel about it, but after I edited it, it didn't sound all that bad. So... I noticed that the original was like it was an hour and a bit, yeah, and this yeah. is 40 minutes, so... Yeah. The okay. 20 to 30 unlistable minutes were, um, were removed. But then I remember a lot of, of what you cut out was probably when you left to go get something to... Oh yeah, to I had drink. to do the laundry. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so... Oh wait! Um, I'm supposed to be human! I forgot. Still, yeah. 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 Sorry, let me go back and human myself. I gotta, gotta eat a humanity. Gotta go to the fire. What's up, Storm? Welcome to the stream. Oh my god, Storm is using all the fancy emoticons. I'm just messaging various people. Um, Mackenzie says, yeah, but Richie, it was actually quite nice. Oh. Mm -hmm. we'll oh, see. Latrek is gone? He's, he'll randomly appear and disappear. Oh. Anastasia is okay, so... Yeah, yeah. The trigger for Latrek killing Anastasia is either ringing both bells or collecting the, um, the Firekeeper soul and light. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Luis says, poor four kings, Sin is coming for you. That's right! Well, I imagine at this point they're probably just sitting there looking at their watch, like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> She was on that bridge for how long? <laughs> oh, oh, those bullies. Oh, well, let me get my axe. Oh, well, show them. The so what, what um, axe is that? That's just a regular axe, like, plus six? It's, it's like, leveled. Yeah, I think so. It's, it's, okay, so it's I, no... I think you should probably rely on Pyro for the Four Kings then. I think you should not tell my character. I think you should not tell your Yormskrik, Yormskrian, Yormskrik. Your your Yormskrik. I'm Yormskrik. Yeah, don't tell Yormskrik how to live his life. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and I mean this is no unupgraded broken straight sword, but it'll do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, now I'm I'm full of life. Ah! Okay. I saw a ghost. <laughs> and I'm back. Okay. Yeah, I, I really like the remakes. Oh, there you are. Is that you? I think so. It should yeah. be. I really like how the remake looks, though. Like, it feels very, very good. Uh, the remake of what? This, what we're playing now. I was just thinking oh, okay. about it. I yeah. think it looks yeah. very nice. Um, Parts of it look good. Parts of it look bad. What looks bad? And Orlando inside looks terrible. But are you an interior decorator now? Like, and when we were fighting the Hydra, like, you cannot see the... 
underneath the water properly. Yeah, like, well, because you're supposed to have memorized right it by now. Hmm. You're supposed to have memorized where you can yeah. and cannot step. Why are you killing these people, Richie? What's wrong with you? They're not even hurting us. It's just a reflex at this point. Okay. Let's use a transient curse. Um... You got any more of those transient curses? Yes, yes, it's fine. You can have only leave you three. No good. Okay, so there's a path you follow to get to them. Wait, 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 wait. Um, let me hit my curse. Alright. Oh my it's, god. It's fine. The, the enemies don't gain extra health if I'm here. So, no. like, it's... Wait! Oh my god! Right. Oh my god! I say wait and Rich is running away as fast as possible. He wants to kill the four kings all by himself and steal all my glory. No, no, no. This is my stream, sir. You wait. Apparently, Bob Bob shut off a duck feed stream to watch this, so there's now <laughs> there's now a conflict of interest. If I go oh back damn, <laughs> Bob, I'm gonna if screenshot they want me back this. To talk about Ring. I'm gonna screenshot this and post <laughs> you're it on feel Twitter. Like you're stealing our audience. <laughs> oh, what is this? Oh, oh, another transient curse. Yeah, the ghost drop transient curses. Mm -hmm. Do you have the firekeeper soul from uh, from New Londo? Yeah. Actually, no. Don't get it because ghosts will show up and you'll start what? screaming. Don't worry. I don't know what you're saying. Anything. Break this pot. Break this pot. This pot. It's got transient curses in it. It, it has a person in it. Break it. There should be a transient. Unless oh, you've no, already collected no, it. No, 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 no. I know what you. I bet. I bet something's gonna scare me. Oh, for God's sake. Okay. Okay, it's a transit there. curse. There. Thank you. It's quite alright. Mimi just sent me a message saying she might show up later on. She Sorry, what? Mimi just sent me a message saying she might show up later on. Oh, nice! A, oh, this is so scary! Yeah, okay, what are you doing? You're walking around someone. Oh, it's our friend! A dark raid. Hi! Hi! Oh no! Friend, why you do that to me? Okay, bye. So this is the path of the four kings. We're going to have to do this every time we fight. Isn't there another way to go from, like, the back door? This is, I think, the most direct okay. way of doing it. Okay, there you are. I'm already dead. <laughs> what a casual. Okay, wait, I got this. Let me show you how to play this game, Richie. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, where, where is he? Ooh, did I kill both of them? I don't know. I'm running in circles. I'm scared. I can't see anything! If, I'm gonna say if you run back, you can summon me again, but then you'd have to go all the way back to the, um... Okay, I killed them. I'm good. I got this. Okay. What is that? Oh, he's what? dead, but the shield is still working around him. That's so weird. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's sometimes happens. So there's a gigantic, um... Phalanx from Demon Souls blob in that little church. If you want to kill that, it won't respawn. I'm scared. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I apologize. It's just very scary. It's a scary place. So I, if you want, I can head down to where you are and leave my sign there. Yeah. And then you can yeah. You without running back to the shrine. Yeah, okay. that would be good. Okay. Just... I just killed two ghosts. Good. Did you get gooped? No, but I saw the blob and it was very scary. Hey, Mark. Hi, Mark. Hi, Bob. Sorry, I don't think I said hi to Bob. The good news about that blob is it won't respawn if you kill it. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, no, I'm out of fireballs. Let me... Yeah, ah! Oh, my God, system. it's sending a head at me, a skeleton. Oh, my... I can't. I can't. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ, well, it's... Richie, it's spoopy, it's scary, it's dark. Yeah. You know how afraid of the dark I am? That's, like, one of my fears. Like, you I cannot think, sleep... Why are you streaming with the... Dark Souls, then? <laughs> I don't know. Extremely Richie, I can't sleep decision. in the dark. That's why I have to have my laptop on, like, a Can little nightlight. you actually nightlight. not sleep? Oh, my God, you need a nightlight. My, yeah. So well, I use my laptop, I just leave it on, and then when I fall asleep, usually that's when the screen darkens, you know? Okay. And then, and then I, like, the closet door has to be closed, the entrance door, like, it's, it depends, like, we don't close it because we have a cat, but it can't be, like, too open, you know, and it has to be a little okay. bit, like, okay. 
This is horrible. This is horrifying. You can't see anything, but you see like stuff in the in the in the like in the background, and it's just like yeah. Oh. This is one of the lighting changes. Like they they do make the dark more. Um, it's like the draw distance is increased, but also the the darkness I think went up. Mm -hmm. So it's drawing objects further away, but at the same time, it's hard <laughs> to see. Oh, oh my god! Oh, no, that's Did just no. That's a ghost. Oh Jesus. Okay. Um, sorry. Hi, Tessa. Hi, Philomena. Oh, Jesus. I can't. Okay, I've put my sign at the base of the stairs where I died before, so... Okay, I think like... it's these stairs. Yeah, okay, I wait. Switch out for Havels because I want the points. What? I'm switching, ha I'm switching my armor for oh, Havels because okay, okay. I want more points. Okay. Hi, Mark. So we'll, ba we'll basically be Havel Mom and Havel there. Aww. <laughs> um... Hi, Ty! Welcome to the stream. <sighs> Ty is asking how many monsters are lurking around in Russia to scare Chelsea this much. <laughs> oh, there you are. Ah, uh, see you. Like a like a vampire of Winnie Pooh. <laughs> a ghost uh, pitachok. <laughs> or just a serial killer uh, owl. <laughs> Which are references to what, Richie? The Russian cartoons podcast we recorded. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. So did, is is the goo thing still or is it? Yeah, yeah. I it, it threw a skull at me and I ran away. Okay. That's understandable. Thank you. Perfect. So I was gonna blow up in a second. Okay. I have no more ranged. Oh no, I don't have it okay, selected. It's dead. Okay, wait, I have combustion. And I have fire. I only have fire orb and combustion. I have so there's, something there's, else. I'm gonna run and trigger these skulls and run out again okay. because otherwise they'll go off and we run fast. So. Okay. Do you recognize these skulls? Um, they look familiar. Are this from they're Castlevania. They're in the catacombs. Oh. No, they're in the catacombs. They okay. just like float around. Um, there's a bunch of treasure <laughs> chests here. They pretty much. All have titanite in them. Richie. Oh, ghost. Hang on. I thought we killed the ghosts. We? Oh, okay. Okay, this is good. You let him. You're no longer ever twice. That's good. Thank you. Thanks, partner. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's the treasure chests here pretty much all have titanite in them, so there's not much point driving. Okay. A ton of it. Um, where are you? I'm with the dark right. Around the, I'm out the door. There's fog walls. There's two fog walls. The fog oh. wall that you're at now, that's the four kings. This is the four kings? This well it's the passage to the four Ooh. kings. Drop oh, I have to wear a ring. You have to wear the covenant, yeah. Okay. Um if we screw up, I notice that like my weapon level is scaling to your weapon level. Okay. So, if we don't make this, what I think you should do is get one of the unique weapons that upgrades with Twinkling Titanite. Because you should have, like, 50-something Twinkling Titanite, and just upgrade it to Maxim. Because then yeah, you'll we'll count as having Maxim. We'll do this. Level. We'd be fine. Let's go. Whenever you talk about upgrading, I just block it out, because you know I'm not about that life. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's one of the problems if you're on soul level one, <gasps> is that you kind of need to focus on upgrading equipment. Oh, hey, AWOL's here. Hey, AWOL. Oh, hi. Shook is here. Rama, Shook, Tessa, Ty, Filomena, Paul, Uth. Everybody's here. All yeah. the cool people are here. So, the strategy for the Four Kings, right? Yeah. Because you have Havel set, you have decent magic defense and a lot of poise. So what you want to do is get close to them, two-hand the weapon, and just, like, hit them over and over again. Okay. They shouldn't They shouldn't be able to stun lock you because of the poise, and if you start, if you're, like, taking too much damage, just use the Estus Blast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's a DPS race. 
The issue is going to be that oh, because okay. they're in co-op, they'll have more hit points than normal. So it's got to figure out where the first one is. How do we figure that out? Follow me, there he is. How did you see him? Hey for a king, remember me, okay, bully? That, that blade like wave it's doing that can one shot you on level one pretty pretty easily. Nobody's gonna one shot anyone. The other thing is that as you are fighting them, um you can you can hit them as they're dying. Mm -hmm. So as he's you're dead already. Right, okay. We did, like, that wasn't terrible. We were just warming up. You can't go into a fight without a warm-up. It's just like exercise. You gotta warm up first. I'll go back to the shrine. You should see me in the crown. Du -du 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 -du. So I guess I'll explain, like, how the Four Kings, like, works. Okay. Okay, so underneath that arena, there, like, the Four Kings health bar that you see is tied to, like, an additional king that is underneath the arena that you don't interact with. And it's set up so that when you do damage to the four, the, the kings that spawn during the boss fights, it also damages that king. The way you can exploit that is that it doesn't care if the kings you're attacking are alive or dead. So basically, as you damage the four kings, and they're doing their dying animation, if you keep attacking them, that continues to damage the boss. Mm-hmm. So that's how, if you've seen people trick this and do like, oh, I did three kings or something like that, it's because they know how to do damage to them as they're dying. So it runs out of hit points before it can spawn the fourth king. So all I'm basically saying is, all I'm basically saying is, as it is dying, just keep hitting it. Mm -hmm. Um, Hero asking does armor health. Yeah. I was saying um, Shook. They do mostly, look, no, wait, yeah. look, Shook. Okay. Look, Shook continued the song. Bravo, Shook. Okay, go on. Yeah. Yeah, basically, Shook's, Shook's right. It's because of the... We don't really care about defense. We care about poise. Mm -hmm. So we want as much poise as possible so that they don't stun lock us when we're... Like, just, we're just going to sit there and hit them. Mm -hmm. And we we want Havel set because of the poise because that means that the when they attack us, it doesn't break our attack animation. So we just want to do as much damage as quickly as possible. Someone's suggesting that if you just, like, try not to die and leave the damage to me, but... Uh, that's not how this know. works. We'll see. We'll <laughs> see how this goes. Um, I had this idea where Ibruitus sings Bad Guy by Billie Eilish. What does everybody think about that? I think you should focus on beating the Four Kings first. Oh, I'm supposed to summon you. Oops, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm too hyped up. Also, I think next time, um... Just, like, pop one of the souls I gave you and use the weaponsmith box to upgrade one of the unique weapons to maximum. What? What are you saying? <sighs> okay, when you summon me, right? Yeah, I summoned you. My damage gets scaled down. Okay. Because your maximum weapon upgrade is, I think, plus six. Okay. Okay, whereas mine is plus 15. Okay. So what you want to do is... Okay. Next time you're at... Why are you running away point? while explaining it to me? Come back. You can fall on... No, you're... I need to... I don't understand what you're saying. Okay, so... And then I need to pop a soul and then do something. Okay. Listen. <laughs> what you need to do is... When you go back to filing Shrine next oh, time... Oh, okay. What do you mean next time? Right. Maybe we'll beat him this time. When you go back to filing Shrine... <laughs> Use one of the boss souls I gave you, mm -hmm. and then use the weapon smith box, which you should have, okay. to upgrade one of the unique weapons that uses Twinkling Tide Knight, and just get that to maximum. Okay. Okay. That will stop my um, uh, damage being downgraded. Okay. Okay. Also, you just you want a stronger weapon in general because you're currently running around with a, a plus six weapon, which is like we're in an end game area. Plus six is kind of like I don't know. Um, I beat Seath with a plus fortress. zero weapon. Okay. Yeah. I know yeah. what I'm doing. I have proof. It's on the channel. It, it sure is. Oh right, curse. That was my last transient curse, by the way. 
Well, I have like six because I'm a pro. I can share some with you next time. Yeah. Okay. Can can't I shoot so fire at the four kings? Yeah, pyro is probably going to do more damage than okay. a plus six battle. Yeah. Okay. Um. What else? Uh, the giant blob will be gone. Woo! There's a death wraith here, right? There's two inside the church, and then, but more importantly, there's two ghosts. <clears throat> right. That are more kind of an issue because they float through the walls and you don't notice they come. Or maybe it's only. <coughs> maybe only like the year. Oh, there we go. oh, Jesus. Did you see that? Oh. Yeah. You did it. Okay, I'll, I'll meet you in the same place. Okay. So I have to eat a soul. Um, use one of the boss souls I oh, gave. Oh, I'll eat I'll eat Gwyn's soul, and I'll be as powerful okay. as him. Okay. Okay. Yes, I can okay. link the first flame. And then what? Uh, just use one of Gwyn's souls, and then go in. Go. Do you have the weapon smith box? Uh, I I I bought it. I think. Okay, just rest at the bonfire and then do, like, upgrade weapon. Or reinforce weapon. Oh, at the bonfire? Okay. Yeah. Uh, reinforce weapon. You find something that takes Twinkling Titanite and just upgrade it to maximum. How do I know if it takes Twinkling Titanite? Because it'll say Twinkling Titanite's required when you move past it. Oh, okay. Uh, there's the Ghost Blade. Yeah, just upgrade that to maximum. I think I did. Okay. Is it plus, plus what? Plus two? I don't know. It disappeared now. That's fine. Okay. Let me see. Okay, yeah. Okay, you should be fine. Um, so that's what that's I used for That's now? just for weapon match. No, no, that's just to get the matchmaking working. So now if you summon me, it should be fine. Okay. Okay. Okay, let me, let me eat a soul, a humanity. And then uh, I'll be human oh. again. Someone's asking who would win a Bruitus or Shock Robot. Shock Robot or like Spark Hunter Robot? I think they mean Spark Hunter Robot. Oh. Um, yeah, that's a good question. The I think the Spark Hunter Robot would win because if a Bruitus is just a Bruitus, then they're weak to lightning. Damage. Yeah, I was thinking that. Yeah. But wait, yeah, yeah, except we don't know how powerful a Bruitus really is. What if a Brutus is like extra, extra powerful? Kind of like when you you go to fight the orphan for the first time. Doesn't matter that you have your little uh, like tinnitus. No, no, no. You're yeah. gonna die. So, yeah. so it really. Oh, depends. Well, um, I don't think she can use the ghost blade because we're soul level one. So, like, I don't think she has the dex to use it. I don't actually know what the requirements of the the blade are, but I think it's a dex one. Okay, but you interrupted me. What I was saying was, yeah. it depends on the Brutus's move set. Yeah. So I'm going to suggest that we just run past the ghosts. Okay. Okay. So the ghosts that got you in the little church thing, they, um, they're um, leashed. So, like, they, they can't really go beyond where the church is. So what I'd suggest is lure the dark wraiths out, kill the dark wraiths, wait for a bit, then run through, and the ghosts will have reset their uh, position. Oh, 
Oh, actually, I want to test something. Hang on. Um, I will test it next time. Okay. Because if, if it works, I won't have a weapon. Actually, no, I, I will try it now. Hang on. This is going to be the test. Um, I'm going to drop my plus 15 battle axe. It doesn't matter because I back this character up, so if you decide to troll me and run off, then, like... <laughs> what? Why would I troll you and run off? What does that even mean? <laughs> Tell me if... Hang on. Okay, hang on. Tell yeah. me if you see this. Did you just see me drop an item? Uh, yeah, it's right here. Okay, good. We're at the same level. You can you can take that if you want. What is it? It's just a battle axe plus 15. It's better than a battle axe okay. plus... Six. I got it. Just switch out your axe for that. It's the same, but it does more okay. damage. Why did you think I was going to take it and run off with it? And what would it matter if you gave it to me anyway? Because I, like, I only have one uh, lightning plus five. I was going to give you my lightning plus five, but you can have the plus fifteen regular. Okay. <laughs> what am I, five? Oh, you're going to take it and run off with it. Jesus, Richie. Yeah, I'll take it and so, run off with it after I, I ring your bell and leave flaming poop on your porch, Grandpa. So if you just follow me, we can run by the ghosts and not worry about using a curse. So, Dark Raid 1. There's going to be four Dark Raids on this road, so this okay. is the first one. What if is I this can guy... only count to three? Well, there'll be Dark Wraiths 1, 2, 3, and then one. the wild card. <laughs> what were you so saying? So I'm going to lure them out. You were saying, what if this guy? What were you saying? I actually can't remember. What we're trying to do... Okay, so the ghosts are coming out now. They're leashed. They won't go further than the top of the stairs, but the Dark Wraiths will. So we'll use this to lure the Dark Wraiths out and deal with them down here. I thought I could backstab him, but, uh... It sometimes gets confused when you're in, uh... I'm confused. When you're in multiplayer about, like, who is triggering what, and, like, sometimes things don't quite catch up. Okay. Oh. Like, they kind of teleport around from the other also, FYI, the reason we're doing this now and not um, on the weekend is that my internet has a habit of dropping out when it's when there's like heavy rain, um, the actual rain of the game. So. Oh, you're so funny. So, when that happens, um, streaming doesn't quite work. So what's happening is that like there's a storm forecast for the weekend concerned I won't be able to do it then, so. Is Storm Forecast also a game? I was <laughs> wondering if you've ever played Dark Souls before. Who was wondering? Someone in the chat. Oh damn, what a bird! So I, I think <laughs> I think the mockery is maybe misdirected at this point. Am I a boomer? We're the same age. Sin and I are like... We're not literally the same age, but you're like, um... Like, 11 and a... No, like, 10 months, I think. No, than. like, days. No? Oh, it's like, it's like, I think, less than a month. It's like your March, I'm Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's, yeah. yeah we're, this, we're, we're, we're functionally the same age, yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna do All right. this. We can do this. Alright. Got it. Oops. Do you have the button. plus do you have the plus fifteen yeah. equipment? Yes I do. Good, okay. Woo! Yeah, where is he? Oh gosh. I it's it's weird. Depth perception is weird here. I, I keep running toward him, but I'm not here. Yet yeah, it is kinda of hard to tell where things are in this. Just it's all sort just of good. Oh, oh, look at that! My boyfriend showed up just at the right time to stand behind me for three seconds and go... <laughs> Seriously? It's gonna be okay, we're the both millennials. Tonight. Yeah, we are. We are both millennials. Yeah, yeah. Why? <laughs> What's wrong? What's happening? Oh, what am I missing? People are asking who is and is not a boomer in the chat. Ah! <laughs>
people discussing how like boomer has ceased to be like baby boomer and just means anyone who's out of touch <laughs> and likes old things oh Also, Tessa pointing out that, like, you have enough Estus that, like, just heal, um, pretty much every time you fall below half health. Mm -hmm. Also, I gave you 99 humanity from memory. So, mm -hmm. like, if you just equip humanity to your quick use bar, you can use that to heal. How do you know I don't do that? Because I'm watching you. Like, you're, you're, <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> you're, you're streaming this live on I... YouTube, and I can see what you're doing. <laughs> I thought I could sneak one in there. Okay. Hmm. A boomer is also a cyborg from Bubblegum Crisis. Hmm. Which is quite funny if you go back, because I have the old Bubblegum Crisis RPG. So if you go there, it has, like, boomer as a class, and there's, like, boomer subclasses. So you can be like like military boomer, business boomer. Did I unhollow? How will I find out if yeah, you're I'm unhollow? Yeah, you're unhollow. Yeah. Okay. Am I still the stairs? Um, okay. People are asking about like whether you've played this game before. Um, they will all Sin... get banned. Give me their names. <laughs> okay, Sin has played this before, but she hasn't beaten the Four Kings. So she's she she's beaten like Seath. Um, she got to the end game, beat Seath. Did you beat Nido? No. No, I never beat. Okay, so... Oh my god, here we go again. So yesterday, was it yesterday? Uh, Richie and I were talking, like normal talking, not recording, talking, and I was like, okay, yeah, I didn't beat Nito, I didn't beat Gwendolyn, I didn't beat Gwen, I didn't beat the Four Kings, I didn't beat, like, I, and he was like, oh, okay, and now we're rehashing it today. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, but people are curious in the chat who were not here yesterday when we were talking to each <laughs> other. And, well, they, and I'm explaining it to them because people are like, has she played it before? Why doesn't she know X? And I'm saying that you got to the end game, but you didn't finish it. So there's certain parts of it that you know and certain parts you don't know. I think that's fair. Okay. Okay. I think we should talk about the Marvel movies that I have seen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hey, hey Sin, uh, I heard you were you were a fake geek girl. <laughs> I bet you haven't seen any of the incredibly successful Marvel films that everyone has seen, unless you could name me a list for five minutes of non-stop talking while I'm trying to play Kingdom Hearts. Mm -hmm. Oh, speaking of Kingdom Hearts, we should play that again, because we finished the first yeah. one. Yeah, well, you know, because we, we're we doing these in the order of, like, yeah. that they pop, because the, the Patreon goals were perhaps slightly too close together. So what's happening is the first goal was Kingdom Hearts, second goal was Kuon, third goal was this. Yeah. So what's happening is, because we kind of hit them so rapidly, it's this. We're when this is done, we'll go back yeah. to Kuon. Yeah. No, we're doing them in reverse, so we'll go back to no, Kuon. No, but we're alter. What do you mean we're not doing them in reverse? We're alternating. We did Kingdom Hearts, we did Kuon Part 1, now we're doing Dark Souls, then we're going to do Kuon Part 2, and then we're going to do Kingdom Hearts again. Alright. <coughs> Excuse me. Thanks for leaving me behind, Rich. I appreciate it. I've lured the um the ghosts out the other. You've lured lane, nothing. So. There was a ghost and a wraith that almost killed me. There's two ghosts, okay. Okay, I'm going through the fog now. <laughs> the ghosts got me. Good. Oh my god! They could go through the fog wall? Jesus! Uh they can reach the Okay, um stay there, because I'm dead. Oh no! Why you die? Actually, no, you can't, because you can't leave the fog wall once you're in it. Oh no! Oh my god, do you guys see how much of a saboteur Richie is? This was all part of his plan. He planned it. How, for how long have you known? Like, a year that I didn't beat the Four Kings? For a year he's been planning this. 
He's like, haha, now you die yet again. You are alone behind a fog wall. There's nothing I want more in the world <laughs> right now. Oh, yes, um, someone's saying use a homeward bow. I'm not going to use a bow, and I'm going to go die with honor. Okay, fine. I'll okay, meet fine. you at the stairs. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Uh, Pablo asking if she's killed the four kings already. Well, we're we're about to find out. <laughs> People are calling this your redemption arc. Oh no. That will be a good redemption arc <laughs> if you can beat them without me. <laughs> Oh, look, so I just, beat them. Just, Yay. just stay in their faces and heal when necessary. No, Watch I out beat them. Stream thing, cause... over, Richie. Oh, okay. I've done this. Yay. I just noticed the wave got you. Yeah. Roll credits. Yeah. So, um, do you want me to give you some stuff when you land? What's the, what other ring do you have on? Havel, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, oh, mm, you, you can use the Ring of Favor and Protection if you want, instead of Havel. I already used it, and I took it off, and it broke, because I need Arturius's ring. Why did you take that one off? To put the Covenant on? Why didn't you take off the one that does... You have two slots. Be because... Last time, you told me if you take it off, it breaks, but whatever. So that stayed with me. Okay, okay. That's alright. Um, someone asking why Gwyn gave part of his soul to the humans. That I don't actually know it. I, it, they talk about him, like, shepherding the humans. So I think the idea is if he stays, like, in control of the humans, then they won't turn on him. Um, is it best to shield with a magic resist shield? I do have a crest shield plus five I can give. I'm tempted to just, like, give you my lightning axe and crest shield and then leave and then restore my save. That's fine. I just need to learn their patterns. All right. Hello, Arthur Morgan. Why can't I roll, though? I have Havel's ring on. It's still too heavy. You, you will be able to, like... Like, that's why I said the Havel's ring's not super necessary. Well, you should... You didn't <laughs> say that last time. What you said last time is, like, oh, if you take the ring of favor, it will break, but whatever. I have it recorded. Don't try to... To okay. Richie your way out of this one. <laughs> try to Richie your way out of this <laughs> one. You know, back in Russia, we had a program, a TV show, that was called Guess That Melody. And you'd yeah. have contestants who would try to guess a melody just based on, like, notes. Like, five yeah. notes. And so, like... I think we should play it. Richie, how many notes do you need to guess the melody that I'm thinking? Ooh, let's let's try. You can have, I think, ten max. But the less you uh, you use, the more points you get. Mm -hmm. Okay, how many notes? Uh, just give me the full ten. Ten, okay. Do 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 do. Mm hmm. Okay, you can you can you can have help from the chat. Got a 28 year old boomer in the chat. Hello. <laughs> oh, 17 year old boomers boomer. as well. <laughs> it sounds, sounds like a terrible, like, high concept Adam Sandler. <laughs> Adam Sandler is the 28 year old boomer. <laughs> oh, Al Hazrat can name it. What's that song? Thanks for leaving me behind, Rich. Appreciate it.
Rob Schneider. <laughs> yes. I have a copy of Rob Schneider's The Hot Chick on my desk right now. She's been watched uh, six times. Oh man! Yeah, I remember that yeah. movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I. <laughs> I thought the movie had like the concept was interesting, but the execution yeah. was lacking. And it felt like the first and the last part of the movie were like okay, but the middle was very uh, weak and long. The middle was an excuse for Rob Schneider to make out with. <laughs> <sighs> Is that Dark Wraith just standing still for you, or? Yeah, he's just yeah. thinking. He's reconsidering he's his life like... choices. Oh, I just remembered I was dead. <laughs> it's like when Wily e. Coyote's running. Mm. Running over a chasm and doesn't realize it's there until he looks down. Lol. <laughs> oh, Hazard can't actually name that tune. Oh. Okay, so just follow me and just rush the fog gate. And because the ghosts, the ghosts can hit you through the fog, Whoa. but they can't themselves wow, move I'm through scared. the fog. Oh my god. Move through the fog gate. I can't. I'm scared. There's a ghost there. Ah, oh panicking. my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a state of panic. We've been through this. Do you want me to look up panic again? Because I can't pause this game. Okay. Oh, gosh. What is here? Can I go around here? Oh, my God. Oh, my, oh my God. God. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'll run. I'll run. I'll run here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There's a dark race. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did you die? Oh, no. Yes. Oh, no. Why okay, do you do that God, to if me? If you go back to where the very first Dark Wraith was... <gasps> well, looks like I'm going back to the shrine. Are you dead now? I'm taking the express bus back. <laughs> uh, how much humanity does Sin have? I gave her 99 humanity. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my sign down, but I'll be my mule character. So I'll be able to give you extra shit. It's just okay. Just and the <laughs> the song was, I'm gonna take my horse to the old town road. I'm gonna okay. ride till I can't no more. Okay. Okay, so I am going to drop my stuff for you. Okay. Um, I'm not there yet, I'll be there in a second. Yeah, me too. Uh, hold on. Hey, Betsy. Yeah, um, the four kings, we've encountered them. Um, we're working on it. Negotiations are continuing. <laughs> uh, a shield would be helpful? Okay. Uh, I had a shield before. What did I do with it? I think the shield's gonna be that help. Uh, Luis says it's helpful and he's less of a saboteur than you, so. Okay. Well, Which check. shield is good? My Grass? Crest, crest shield? shield. Okay. There's one called Crest Shield. It's got pretty high magic uh, block. You can use that. Oh, do you know? We could learn Russian in the meantime, because the other day we had a stream where I taught people Russian and they remembered things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cool. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so as a quick review, in Russian we have words. And some of the words... ...are complicated. Yeah. And then... I can see my sign, like, on the YouTube stream. 
Some of so the words are yeah. verbs and some are nouns and some are adjectives. And uh, the nouns have a gender, like there's mm -hmm. masculine, feminine, and neutral. Mm -hmm. And you usually know that by the last word, by the yep. last letter of the word. Okay. And I was just thinking about it. You know the word lamp? Yeah. You know how we say it in Russian? How? Lampa. So it's like lamp and with an A at the end. And it uh. has an A at the end, so it's a girl. But if we had said lamp, it would be a boy. It's pretty funny. Mm, Why are you giving me stuff? You. To keep you alive. <laughs> <laughs> it's not picking up the item. Just press shield. Did I drop you a pyroflame plus yeah, 15? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna drop you another one that's pyroflame plus 5. That's, despite that, it's better. Because it's like the ascended pyroflame plus 5. Uh, There's an item here that I can't pick up. Oh, that's probably because you. It's like, it's like extra tight night and you can't carry anymore. Okay. Um, so you should get it. You should, like, get it back. No, because I just restored this character from the oh. cloud. I don't have it. <laughs> Bob is asking Richie, why aren't you laughing? <laughs> oh, yeah, Lauren says, Uroki Ruskova Yuzuka. Yeah, which is Russian lessons. Okay, so... Richie, do you know done. how you say shield in Russian? Shield... 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> shield ski. Shield ski. No, it's actually... I just thought about it. And uh, the way you say shield is shit. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Oh, I got another ring of favor. Nice. Yeah. So swap out Havel's Ring for the Ring of Favor because it'll give you a bonus to health and stamina. Okay. Um, but it won't... Um, uh, you'll still... Like, you'll have less equipment burden, but you'll still move at the same rate because it only cares about, like, okay. whether it's below 50 okay. or below 20. Okay. Okay. And do you know how you say sword in Russian? Swordski. <laughs> no, it's mech. Yeah. Also, swap out your pyroflame for the the pyroflame plus five I gave you. But mine is plus fifteen. Your plus five. It, there's there's two different pyroflames. They have slightly different. Okay. So the plus five one it has like more flame around it. You can kind of okay. see that's that's stronger. Do you know how you say flame in Russian? <sighs> flame skin. No, plamia. Are you memorizing all this? Because I'll test you at the end of the stream. Yeah. <laughs> Bedsheet asking if ski is like masculine or feminine or is no, it just it's just, just Richie it's Richie it's sabotaging <laughs> our lessons sabotaging your attempt to teach me Russian yes how do you say butt in Russian uh, it's a funny one popa <laughs> I never thought about how funny it sounds until now. It's literally po and pa. <laughs> You're not laughing, Archie. I'm, I'm equipping healing <laughs> items. Okay. So, my sign's down. You should be able to grab me soon. Okay. Oh, I see you. Oh no, I'm trying to. Um, she. Um. If good armor is okay, what what like I've done soul level one runs like repeatedly, and um. There's like I know there's 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 like better ways to fight the four kings, but this the quote unquote safest way that I found is you just load up on Havel's set because it has really high poise, sit there and just repeatedly spam attack. And then heal when necessary, and they won't be able to knock you out of the the poise, um, because the poise will stop you being knocked out of the thing, basically. 
Like that, that just like it's it's not like pretty, but it works. And yeah, this is the remaster. That's how we're that's how we're co-oping because we're using passwords. Do you know how you say dragon in Russian? Oh, it's like shvenmi or something. What? No, dracon. Oh okay. <laughs> oh, you think you think he likes me? Like yeah, serpent? Me. Yeah, serpent. Yeah, that's serpent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh wow, Richie's best love. Me. No, here is saying like my plan hasn't been. No, th I've done like the character that that she's co-oping with. This is the character who has beaten the game on. Oh, oh, I see Richard throwing me under the bus. Oh, I have done. I have beat the game so, many like, I, times, I can, I and know, I can do like, this, this by this myself. Work, like... it is, but oh, I'm just here to help out this this casual. Oh, look at me, I'm so great. Rich, if you were a team player, you'd be like, oh yeah, I've never played this game before either. Thank you, Sin, for helping me. I've never played this game before. That's. I used cheat engine to get all those items I was buying. It we was go. a ruse. <laughs> I've actually never played a video game in real. <laughs> Thank this you, is... Richie. Okay, so do you want to just rush the fog, or are you going to panic again? Um, we are we rushing the fog? Rushing? Just follow me. Russian, just get it? Just follow me. Rushing follow me. sounds a lot like Russian. Did you get it? Not following me. I'm following you. Are you following me? I made another unfunny joke. If you were a team player, you'd pretend to laugh. Ru you fell off the side! <laughs> uh, it's very dark. There's a dark wraith on my head now. Uh... <laughs> Where do I go? There's skeletons here, this is spoopy. Are we going to die here, Rich? Is this our fate? Just go up here. Okay. Up here. Okay. This is, this is the way back. This, this is the way. Do you know that song? It was very popular in Russia back in the like 90s. Yeah. jump. Oh no. Oh. You know what you should do? When you run, you should leave little prisms behind you so I know where you go. I, I would, but like, you're, like, I'm right in front of you. How would you say Dignity City in Russian? Uh... Gorat Dostoinstva. Gorat is city, and Dostoinstva is like dignity. Did you see? Do you see the, the four kings? They don't like me. They make it extra hard for me to get there. I feel like on a normal game it's much easier, but for me they just yep. like set up traps and ghosts and like dark raids. We only need to beat them once. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Um, maybe swap out Mask of the Father for Mask of the Mother. Because I don't that have Mask of the sure. Mother. I gave it to you. When? When when I kneeled you a bunch of items before. Because you, you won't be any, um... It's not gonna matter, like, because I, I wear the same stats and, like, okay. I'm not moving any slower than you are. But I have more hit points. Mask of the Mother. Okay. Mask of the Mother. Nice. Yeah. Oops. Do you know how you say vodka in Russian? Vodka? No, it's vodkiski. I'm kidding. Yeah. It's no. vodka. <laughs> well, Mal Mal taught me a similar thing about macaroni. Yeah. In Italy, they don't say macaroni. No, what do they say? It's like ma ma macaron with an e. It's oh. like ma macaroni. Uh. So we've all been we're all saying it wrong. 
Oh no. Okay. Did I summon you? Yeah, I'm being summoned now. Okay. Okay. Okay, look, we're, we're twins. Oh, twinsies! Okay, question for the chat. If Rich and I were twins, which one of us would be the evil one? You boss. <laughs> Don't make me too slow. Have you? Ha, yeah, you have. Do you remember the episode of The Simpsons? It's a Halloween special where it turns out Bart has an evil twin. Yeah. Yeah, that was a he made a pigeon one. rat. Yeah. So the evil twin. Harvey is says, a... "I'm the mm -hmm. I'm the evil one because I'm a bully, and he knows because." You will believe me. <laughs> That's perfect. And okay, I was, so yeah, do, yeah. do you think you can make it to the fog gate if you just run? Like, I don't know. I mean, we can try. Like, I don't know the, the future. Is I can't go Wait, actually, the I do. Yeah. yeah, I'm good. Without you having done it. Okay, yeah, run I'm to good. the fog Bye. gate. You have do enough poise that things won't knock you over on the way. Just gotta believe in myself. You did it. Okay, good. Progress. Yay. Okay. Okay. Good. Do you know how you say good in Russian? Uh, no. The chat knows. I taught that to them last time. She's always rushing. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Хорошо. Or хороший. Yeah. 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 Okay, so now now that you've done this, like you know how to run there, we should be like, we, we're making progress. I believe that you can make it to the four kings consistently now. Yay! Okay, so heal up because I can see you're on like uh, you've taken some damage. Oh. So what you want to do is yeah, go down here and just like every time it looks like you're like say less than fifty percent, just pop a humanity to keep okay. going. We just have to outlast them. There's not like mm -hmm. the straight. It's just a damage race. It's just mm -hmm. who can do the most damage. Okay. If you keep healing, that should offset. Okay. The difficult thing is that when it does that, like, like it, it's sort of like Ludwig's Moonlight Wave thing, like it's doing it now. Okay. If that thing connects, it'll probably one-shot you in this level. What, and also where is it even coming from? Comes, like, is he shooting sword. it, or...? Okay, see, so it got me there. Oh, who's the casual now? Oh my god, is it? Oh my god, it's running after me! Oh my god! Yeah. Holy shoot! I so thought... that's... Oh, wow. That's what you have to watch out for. Because it can shoot them, they do a lot of damage, and they hurt. I thought that it was like, it would like, not, not run after me, but, uh, oh my god, So basically, what, what you want to do is stay up close to them. Mm -hmm. Because the, okay, you did. The like, if they hit you with the, the sort of base of the sword, it does a lot less damage. Than if the blade connects. So you want to stay really close to them and just like hammer. And like you should just be able to outlast them. Mm -hmm. Because that's how I've done it like every other one. The difference is that in multiplayer they gain additional hit points, but if we're both damaging them, like we should be okay. Mm -hmm. I'm more confident about this than if you decide we have to fight up. We have to fight what? 
Artorias. I'd be better fighting Artorias, I think, because they're, like, think annoying, would. but I don't understand them. It's dark around you. They're just, like, floating, and then there's more of them, and they don't... Like, I don't get it. I don't understand this fight. Like, Ludwig is difficult, but you understand the fight, like... The Orphan fight is just... There's a timer. Yeah, it's a king. I... I think it's, like, 30 seconds as an extra king. But they all share the same health bar down the bottom. So you just need to keep hammering. It's like the living failures in the world. You just keep hammering. Solid. Away. Richie Solid says, I've never seen them spawn so far away. Yeah, because yeah. they're sabotaging me, Shook. Oh, it's hey, Zanosio. Hey, Zanosio! Hey, Salvador. Hi, Magpie. Yeah, hi! Okay, what other words do you want to learn, Richie? Hmm. Uh, summon. Vizvat. Okay. Yeah, it's like viz and vite. Yeah. There's a letter in Russian that you guys don't have in English. Do you know what it is? What? It's... <laughs> <laughs> and until you think about it, you don't think about how weird it sounds. Like some sound, like uh. it doesn't even sound like a letter, and that letter only has a small version, it doesn't have a capital because no word starts with it. <laughs> so, even the Russian language knows it's a weird letter. <laughs> People asking about the um, the sun and how like Gwyn is the lord of the sun, and so like the, the deal about Dark Souls 3 and the eclipse is that the sun, because Gwyn is the lord of sunlight. The sun is, like, connected to or maybe powering the dark sign, which is stopping the dark soul from going rampant. So the deal with the eclipse is, like, when the eclipse happens, the dark sign is just dis Like, the dark sign itself is disappearing. And that's why, like, you get the dark sign in the DLC, and it's why, like, the eclipse... The eclipse happens, and that's when that's what triggers the butterflies to start bursting out of the... And, like, there's a whole lot of removed sun stuff from 3 that we'll probably never understand the point of, but it's in there. Ooh, backstab! Hey, Yay! Okay. So, are you confident you can make it if you just run? I try. You did it last time. You did it last time. Okay. Eventually, like, your your muscle memory will just, like, you'll remember this. This is, like, how I do the catacombs, though. Because I just, like, know it. Having done so many. Woo! Oh! That's alright. It's alright. We can. Did you go. No, 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 no. You've fallen off the thing, haven't you? Oh, no, okay, stay here, stay here, we can just loop back around, it's fine. Follow me, this just leads back oh, to no, the beginning. Oh, no, he, okay, yeah. okay, he stood up again, he's not dead yet. So this just loops back around to the beginning of the little church, so we're fine. Do you know how you say church in Russian? Uh, church. Okay, take two. Go, 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 go. Before Where do I go? Time. Where do I go? I don't know where There's to go. There's two ways before! <laughs> oh no! You... It's the same building! It's... <laughs> oh. oh my god. Okay, uh, can you okay. guard me? Corvo has a hairball. I gotta go see what's up. I'll be right back. Okay. Hi, everyone. Sin's cat has a hairball. Hi, Holdsworth. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. How's everyone else? 
I'm trying to orient myself based on sin screen. Uh, someone asking about my, like, game dev stuff going on. Like, yeah, if anyone follows me on Twitter, I sporadically post little, um... Yeah, yeah, it's a little, uh, like, um, roguelike thing I work on on and off. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, I, like, sporadically post images of... I haven't, I didn't post a lot uh, recently because I'd just been working on data, so it was just like a bunch of arrays that were not um, really visual. Why not not where I'm enrolled when the attacks happen? Because I don't trust Sin to do that. <laughs> like, uh, there's, there's like the, the impressive way to do this, and then there is the, the safe way. And I'm trying to stick us to the safe way, which is why I'm saying, like, just where heavy armor, just sit there and, like, just stay alive, basically. Um, the same thing's gonna happen with Nito, like, there is... Fighting Nito on Soul Level 1 is kind of tough because he summons the skeletons, but there is an exploit you can use that involves the Fog Ring and the, um... was it? The Slumbering Dragon Quest Ring. If you use those... Um, and just stay in one spot. Nito and the skeletons won't aggro. Nito will aggro, but the skeletons won't. So Nito just harmlessly drifts toward you, and then you can just spam attacks at him. And that's not like it's not clever. It's not impressive, but it works and it's safe. So we're just trying to keep to like the safe thing because Sin hasn't beaten this game before. Hi. Hi. I got a Dr. Pepper. Also, yep. hi everyone. Is it going to fill you with determination? Yeah, I'm gonna fight those four kings with my dying will. Hi, Holtzworth right. hands. By the way, if you saw today's podcast, you may have seen a picture of Richie and I and a spark under robot, and Holtzworth did that. And I'm gonna post yep. it on Twitter. That's oh. true, since Sin is the only human alive played under. Wait, what? that again? Exactly. No, you cut out. What did you say? Sin is the only person alive who hasn't played under... And what? It's like Sin is exactly. the only person who hasn't played and then it cuts out. Undertale. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe, uh, maybe we should play Undertale instead of this. No, because this was a Patreon goal. They paid us, okay? What the goal stipulates, you get to the four kings and you beat the four kings. You don't have to go on past the four kings, but I feel like the four kings are one of the... Like, once you're over that, you'll be fine with the rest of the game. Okay. Except Artorias. Okay. I feel like... No, I feel like... No, it's just the four kings. I go here again? Is that the way? Yeah, okay. Go. Do, 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 do. Okay, we made it. Yeah, I'm beginning to think that like my role in this should be like I just stand there and die instead of you. Like I just <laughs> aggro the monsters. <laughs> okay. People requesting uh, Undertale and Hollow Knight to be played. I played Hollow Knight. There you go. Yeah. Did you stream it? Yeah. Okay. It's pretty cool. It's like cute souls. Yeah. Woo! Okay, we're gonna do this. Stay as close as you can to the kings. Okay. The further away you are, the more dangerous they are. So, okay. So find them just... Just like circle strafe hit if you start taking damage, heal. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, heal. Okay. One thing I don't like about souls is that the healing is like so slow. It's like your yeah. character like stops, thinks about it, like heals. Do I want to heal today? Maybe I don't. Yeah. It's 
like, like you can get killed four times by the time they decide to heal, you know? Just, just constantly. Yeah. Okay, okay, come on. Do this. Okay, one down. Yay! Okay. Let's go. Okay. Do some Elizabeth mushrooms. What? There's a DLC item that gives you like health regen. Okay, good. We're like halfway. Ooh, there he is. Careful behind you, Richie. Yep. Okay. Why is he? Why is he so walking like, away from us? Because he's gonna do his wave attack. Ah, oh, piece so of So I move. think it's fair to say at this point that like we sort of have this down. Like it's not like there's another phase to this. It's just this. So if we can just like coming, Richie. Oh. keep this up, we'll be fine. Okay, I'm rolling, Richie. I'm rolling to you. I ah, uh, damn it! Wait, wait, I heal again. Okay, okay, hang, well, okay well, we're doing pretty good. I okay, think. like okay. I'm even here, if Richie. we die, this shows that we can do it. Okay. Okay. Okay, where's the? We've got to watch out for the stupid sword blades, and we're fine. Thank you, based Elizabeth. Oh wow, Elizabeth mushrooms are fucking great. Jesus. Oh, 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 gotta heal, gotta heal, gotta heal, gotta heal. Come on, heal. Heal today, please! For the love of Good. effing God, heal today! <laughs> Good! Yay! Good! <laughs> Four kings, no kings. Zero kings, more Deep like throne. it. Yeah. Okay, you now this is the first time you've beaten the four kings. Yeah. Yeah, finally. Woo! You will look the achievement dual shock four battery level low. <laughs> Bonfire. So yeah, you've got half if you want you can join the dark raids now. Hi, hi are they gonna attack me? No, you can join them. Oh, okay. They still attack you if you join them. Oh, wait, like, why? Because this is like, if you... Now that you've got access to Karth, you can, like, talk to Karth and get all the, like... The stuff about the the pygmy and the dark soul and everything that we, um... That, like, is meant to be hidden away until later on. No, so but I know that! Give, yeah, like, I've watched yeah. walkthroughs and I read item descriptions yeah. and I listened if you to want, lore. Um, when we get the Lord Vessel from Anor Londo, you can give it to Karth instead of Rand. Okay, but I don't want to join his covenant if they still attack me. That's like... That's like a... Yeah, it's just... It, all it does is give you an online thing. No. No, 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 no. If you want me to join your covenant, Karth, you make no, sure... No, he's not asking you to join the covenant. He's just saying, do you want me to tell you a bunch of, like, the, the hidden backstory? Can I kick him? The covenant... Like, you could try. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna beat Kath. The four cuts. Hang on, I, I feel like I need to tweet that we finally beat the four. Mm. In terms of time invested, the four kings was easier than Ingvar. <laughs> they should have been frightened of him. <laughs> Can I um, travel now? Yeah, that bonfire lets you warp even if you don't have the Lord Vest. Right, because otherwise you're stuck here with Kat forever, yeah, and he only has, this. like, one story so, to tell. now do you want to go deal with, um... What? Firelink Shrine uh, or Undead Parish? Uh, no, because you haven't rung the, the Quellag bell yet, so do you want to go ring the bell now and maybe do some of Demon? Firelink Shrine or Undead Parish? Firelink Shrine. Welcome! Yay! Thank you for the congrats, everyone! Now Richie can no longer bully me for not beating the Four Kings. Looks like Richie also played by, himself. By, yeah, yeah, it's true. <laughs> so, do you want to go do 
Actually, you can't summon me because I've already been. Mm -hmm. So what you want to do is go back to um, where? But go back to Blighttown. Where is Blighttown again? You know the the place with the wheel that you kept what? falling off and dying. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Jesus! Why do I have yeah. to go back there? Because you have to ring the bell after Quelag. <sighs> Okay. When you ring that bell, that will trigger Latrek to kill Anastasia. How do I even get also... there again? Wait, I'm having a... Um, go back to New Londo, sorry. <gasps> right, and there's a door there, yes. Yeah. There's a door to the Valley of Drakes. Yeah. People asking if Karth and Frank are the same serpent. They're not. You specifically see in the ending there's like eight. But do so you there's ever... like Karth... Oh, there's ten, so there's Karth, Frampt, and eight others who aren't named. Okay, sure. but do you ever see Karth and Frampt in the same room while you're playing yeah, the, the game? Yeah, the ending. Yes. Other than the yes. ending? You don't know, this could be uh, ten other serpents? It could be... Okay, but what, what happens is if you side with, with Karth, he's like, You're a spawn of Frampt, and then he disappears. Yeah, but you... that's because he's the same yeah. person, he just doesn't show up there. He's like, okay, now I don't have to pretend to be two people anymore. It's actually yep. easier for him. I feel like that that was something that a lot of people thought, including <laughs> me, with the two snakes at this. No, I thought it was going to be like they they one is asking you like, "Hey, give me the dirt on Framp and betray him," and then mm -hmm. Framp is like, "No, you must betray Kath." And then at the end of it, it would reveal that it was like two. They would two, and they they just been like playing you against yourself. Aww. <laughs> but no, it, it is it is. I think specifically, there's ten different mm -hmm. Okay, um, Lauren's pointing out that in the ending of 3, when you use Serp Fire, the Dark Sign's still in the sky. It's still in the sky, but it's gone black and white. It's not burning anymore. So it's like, you've taken the fire, which is the sun, and now humanity controls that, so it's gone the colors of the soul. You tell the difference between the serpents based on who they see. Which, again, like, yes, they could potentially impersonate. Well, people saying, like, I wish they brought them back in the sequels, like, the problem is that they kind of looks like they were, because you see all these statues of them in Lothric, and then you see statues of them in the Ring City, where presumably they would have hung out, because that's where all the primeval humans are, but then they never actually show up. Is your DualShock plugged in, or is it just going to keep saying it has a... Oh, it's not plugged in. I don't know where the wire is. I think you is. should plug it in so we don't... <laughs> what? I don't know where the wire is. So I didn't plug it in. I thought it would be okay. Don't... Do, do... What is plugged into the PS4 then? Nothing? Nothing? It's just a PS4. I... Okay, I'm just concerned that like it's gonna... In like half an hour, we're gonna be fighting Iron Golem and then your control is gonna die. Um, you know, it's like living life to the extreme taking chances <gasps> that should be a SHT podcast taking chances there was a guy who was like um he put his his ex he put his TV in an oven and he's like can I beat Halo before my TV melts holy shoot and I mean yeah, Yuri does say that Karth has died yeah yeah But like I, I, I have a suspicion that like your the calf is dead thing was added when they realized they have to remove the rest of calf from it. Because I mean, unless it was just a gigantic cock tease, which I don't think it was, um, there is so much setting up that calf and Framp are coming back in three, and it goes nowhere. And given that we know, like we absolutely one hundred percent know that huge chunks of three got removed pretty late. It wouldn't surprise me if they did have, like, a Karth Framp thing planned. When they realized they couldn't do it, they just added a line to Yuria where she said Karth is dead. To explain, like, why he keeps being mentioned, but he's not actually dead. Maybe rest at the bon bonfire, maybe rest at the yeah. bonfire here, just so you don't have to do this. Do I think Karth was in God's grave? I think... I don't know what the fuck was- I think Manus or the- I think the- okay. 
when you go to the Ring City, there's a reference to the Pygmies, and it says, like, the Pygmies are in... The, it's called, like, the Mausoleum. Mm -hmm. Which is really odd, because it's just, like, a throne room. And I think the idea that's probably a holdover where the, the God's Grave was going to be where the Pygmy Kings were, and it was actually, like, their grave. It was their Mausoleum. Um, but the thing is, we've also never found any of Karth, like... In any of the Dark Souls 3 stuff that we dug up. Because, like, we found all kinds of weird shit, like Vort having little babies st sticking to him. We found, like, the original desert version of Irithyll. We have found, like, the dancer is an NPC and she's called Princess of the Eclipse. And we found, like, the unused wolf Farron boss. We found nothing about Cup. And, we, like, we found, like, we found fucking God's Grave of all things. But no, no Cup. So, like, we don't know, but they just seem to be, like, they were definitely hinting towards something happening that just doesn't happen. I feel like 3, three feels like it was meant to be, like, a very significant story, and then they were possibly told, you can't end... You can't end this, you have to keep it going. Okay, Desert Irith. The people asking about Desert Irith. We've sort of covered this, but that, like, we've released so many things people missed it. Um, Irithil used to be in a desert. And what they did was they just recolored the sand white and said it was snow. That's where the Boreal Valley comes from. So the, that's why, like, you go through the Carthus area and it's all like, ah, Carthus off the sands, the desert pyromancers off Carthus, and then you arrive in in um, uh, the snowy valley where Irithyll is. And that's because it was going to end up Carthus of the sand, desert pyromancers, because you're in a desert. And then that would lead to the desert, which was Irithyll. And, yeah, that's what we mean by desert Irithyll. Do you know so, what like, really in, happened, though, Richie? What really happens? Then? <laughs> it's like your chosen undead or ashen or whatever is trying to get to the desert, and then he follows the map, and then he's there, and then he realizes he was holding the map upside down. Someone just typoed <laughs> Karth as Keith, and I find that I like the idea that one of the other serpents is called Darkstalking Keith. Frampt and Keith. He's <laughs> like Karth, Karth's like a Bruitus equivalent, Darkstalking Keith. <laughs> Did we just come up? Robert, I think we just come up with a new character. <laughs> so Frank and Keith. <laughs> okay, so do you wanna do you wanna do Sense Fortress now? No, I wanna watch the sitcom that is Frank and Keith. <laughs> Frank and Keith does sound like a terrible Brit. <laughs> Do we believe the sandworm is Solaire? No! No! <laughs> no, the sandworm was meant to be, like, in the Carthus Desert area, and then it just ended up down there. But yeah, um, like, when I say we've restored Desert Irithyll, Lance did this. He hasn't been able to replicate it, so I don't know exactly what he was, um, uh, what, what he did and if he'll be able to do it again. But, like, when you go into Irithyll, that the like the river area where the Sullivan Beast chases you. Um, that was a that was a chasm initially. Oh, get the daughter of chaos while you're down here. Tag up on Um what? That was a chasm originally, and like if you looked down under there, there would be all of these like ruined buildings and things. Okay, when you know when you fell down the bottom of where the bell was. There is a fire here. Yeah, but, you know, when you fell down the bottom of where the bell was, yeah. it was like a circular room. One of the walls there is fake and well, like, Sister oh, right. Tonight. Yeah, yeah, true. Tag her bonfire because it's a warp point, so next time you do it, you won't have to go through Blight Town. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Well, this little snake was probably oh my cut. God, I'm sorry. I apologize. Because they say, like, Ulysil brought the abyss on itself, uh, fooled by the toothy serpent. Which could be any of them, but, like, um, 
it makes sense that it's Karth, because Karth's also the one who shows up in New Londo and is like, hey, have you considered uh, unearthing the Abyss? Um, were Sullivan's beasts different originally? Yeah, there's basically the whole concept of Irithyll is like hammered together from a bunch of leftover things. So like Vort and the Outriders and the Sullivan beasts, they were something called the Beast Knights that had, from what we can tell, nothing to do with, with um, an Orlando at all. And then they became, like, they basically just changed the armor cult to match the snow and said they were fine. So, like, rest at the bonfire well, so you can I walk did, I know it. Okay, cool. Oh, actually, while you're here, join her covenant and give her, like, um, jo join the covenant. Isn't she gonna way. plant eggs in my head? No, that's, that's the moons. Entropy. Join a covenant. I can't. This is going to be important. Oh, I can. can. Oh. Yeah. Join it. Then use use some um, eleven humanity to get up to thirty, and then give it all. Okay. Eleven. Humanity. That will that will unlock two new pyromancies, and also it will let you open a door in um, that lets you bypass like half of um, uh, Isolate. The Fire Witches who serve Sullivan, they were just called Moonlight Witch originally, and that was a boss. That was, um... The Fire Witch thing, that was a, an, an individual boss, and it was fought where you fight Sullivan now, and it was called Moonlight Witch. And it was, like, guarding. The, what we can tell, the original idea was... Um, keep in mind, there's, like, three different versions of this story, so, like, God knows, like, if this is the right order. But the end game would be that the ruins of An Orlando, which we now know is zero. That was in a desert, and it was just straight up called, like, An Orlando Ruins. And it was there, but the An Orlando part wasn't there. Okay, so I gave her 30 humanity, and she gave me... Yeah, food. um... Is that all? I don't know. Hang on, check, check your... Hang on. Go into your character, um... Go into your... Go, go to your character status and see if it says you're level 2. Chaos Servant. You have to get to Chaos Servant level 2. Oh, Chaos Servant plus 2, that's fine. Yeah, just just head back to filing count. Do I have to walk all the way there? Yes. <sighs> it's the way? last time you have to do this. This is like the What's this way? Sign of Amana. Well, you can go that way and fight Ceaseless Discharge if you can. Is this another wall? No, that, that's where you find Kirk's body after you kill him. Oh. Um, Okay, while you're walking back to file link, I'll do check. Okay. So, going back up. Um, so what would happen is you would go to the... What was Irithyll. If you imagine, like, Irithyll... But it's it's like this ash desert instead of snow. And instead of the, um, the river where you fight the Sullivan Beast, that's just a giant chasm with a whole lot of ruined buildings in it. Like, they collapsed into the chasm. Anno Londo itself, the part that's called Anno Londo, isn't there. And you have to do something in... At this point, Irithyll doesn't exist. It's just straight up called Anno Londo Ruins. You had to do something. And we don't know what, but it was like... It looks like it was an Ulysseal time travel situation. You had to go back into the past of Anno Londo. Do something. We don't know what. And then... By changing the past, you made An Orlando appear in the present. So, like, that would cause the An Orlando part to appear in the desert. So, like, above Irithyll. And that would have been the end game. It's so, like, it's like, we have a list, it's like the chronological, um... There's, like, an internal list, basically, in the game that's just for the developers that says, like, here's what happens in the game, and it, it's in chronological order. And the last thing that happens is called, um, like, Resurrection of Anor Londo, basically. And that's after something called, like, Anor Londo Brackets the Past. So you would go back in time, do something that would bring back Anor Londo. And then that would bring you into the endgame. Um, the snake things people are talking about, they're just the early Pilgrim Butterfly design. And I think the fact they look like a snake is meant to call back to the Primordial Serpents. The idea that, like, the the reason the Primordial Serpents serve the Dark Soul is that 
the the true quote unquote true form of humanity is the primordial serpents and they're like inside you and when the dark sign breaks down they would burst out of you and they would fly off Reggie. like toward the yes what <laughs> Reggie, that's your mind yes. of the fishing hamlet when the people are praying to cause I mean, yep orphan of cause it sure does yeah. it sure does okay okay Yeah, yeah. Like, so don't don't touch them because no, you'll get infected. You were talking about the the butterflies or whatever bursting out of our yeah, people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. So there's a bunch of oh hey bubbles here hey we just oh, kings she's just uh, rung the bell and we're That's going bubbles. to for. So like, um, nameless king. There's a discussion there about Nameless King as the King of Lothric and Guinevere as the the um the mother of Lorraine and Lothric. Nameless King was meant to be like the founder of Lothric. He's not the current king. He's like the 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 idea was basically that after Nameless King got kicked out of An Orlando, he founded Lothric. So like it's like An Orlando zero point no, it's An Orlando like one point five. Like, that's what Lothric is. And that's why, like, the warriors in Lothric, they drop the sunlight medals. It's why the the altar of sunlight's there. It's, like, why there's statues of the Nameless King. And this would have made more sense back when you could walk from Lothric to Archdragon Pig and they were connected. And you can still kind of see it now, like, the architecture of Archdragon Peak is really, really close to the architecture of the Consumed King's Garden. Consume King's Garden's meant to be like the old. So the idea was like the oldest part of Lothric was going to be Arch Dragon Peak, and that would reveal that Gwyn's son, the the cast off war god, he'd founded Lothric. So that's why Lothric's so important. It's why like they have this divine bloodline. It's why like everywhere is being drawn toward that because it's like the last sort of it's like the closest thing the world had at that point to Anolon. Um, one of the pygmies says maybe Abyss's curse to take the gods. That's because the, the humans, like, have turned against the gods at that. Like, the whole point with the gods is they're trying to contain the power of humanity. So the humans and the gods are in conflict with each other. And when all the gods are gone, the humans can be ascendant again. Well, not again. The humans can take control, basically, of the world. The and that's why... That's why there is such a focus on Gwyn sealing away the the um, the pygmies. It's why he puts the dark sign on everyone because it's a method of controlling. Gwyn sealed away the pygmies. Yeah. He put the dark sign on everyone. Yeah, there's there's a um, people bring up cut arch dragon peak. There's a lot of cut arch dragon peak stuff. Arch dragon peak is good. And like in in the early version that I've like looked at files from. Um, Nameless King was like it, Ash Dragon Peak was mandatory, and Nameless King was he was like one of the Lords of Cinder, basically. At this point, like the the early, um, you don't need to use humanity to heal; you can just use an Estus. Why are you using humanity? I don't know. I didn't. I forgot. It's slower. It's you know. Why are you okay. giving me attitude? What, am I the first so, person in the world to have humanity sort of equipped and then forget to change it back to Estus? I'm asking you a question. I'm asking you a question with all this attitude. Okay, so... The original, like, bosses you had to fight for three. Um, when I say original, I mean, like, this is way, way, way early. They revised it multiple times. It's not like this is a coherent, like, locked-in thing. But it was, um... It was the... The deacons were always there. And interestingly, the, the, it's, it's only ever the deacons, there's never a reference to Aldrich. So I have a, I pretty strongly suspect that Aldrich himself was being, um, was like added later on to like combine a bunch. Aldrich was added later! So it was the deacons, it was the Abyss Watchers and the Wolf, and specifically the Wolf was the boss. So that's why, I mean, it's odd that they never reference Aldrich, because they reference the, um, they reference the, the Abyss Watchers as the wolf, and the Abyss Watchers would have been phase one. 
Um, the next one is it's called King of the Prof it's called Lonesome King of the Ruined City, which is like Lonesome King of the Profane Capital. But, but at this point, it's not Yom, it's Walnia. What a twist! And we don't know we don't know what his story was. We don't but know like the, story. the the skeleton boss was going to be the boss of Profane Capital. And he probably, I'm assuming he was at like a different... Um, he may have been called like the Mad Spirit or something or something like that. There's a reference to something called the Mad Spirit. And then um, Nameless King was the fourth one and he's, called, he's just called King of the Storm. So those are the four like that you had to fight. And um, like I talked about, there is a, there's like a document that lists the the events of the game in chronological order and the um the the final um what is it the final like all those bosses they're at the very end it's not the way you do it now where there's lords of cinder but you basically do a specific order so and interestingly lorian and lothric are listed as before them so like it looks like the um, uh, I, I gave, uh, Bubble, I gave her my part. So, like, basically, it looks like the original structure of, of, um, Dark Souls 3. We went over this with Loki, but, like, people might not have heard it. So, the, from what we can tell, the structure of Dark Souls 3, when it first began, was that you would leave Lothric, you'd go to Undead Settlement, then you'd beat the Great War. The Great Wood would collapse like it does now, but instead of that being the Pit of Hollows, it would be the entrance to Carthus. No, it would be the entrance to um, the profane capital, Irithyll Dungeon area. You'd go down there. There would be something in profane capital slash Irithyll Dungeon. I don't know what, but it looks like it was it was blood. You would get blood somehow, like as an item go back to Lothric and you go into the room where the basin is you know like when you beat Emma and she gives you the basin you use the basin the knight statue bleeds into the basin it would be that except you would the blood you would get from the profaned capital or, or Irithyll dungeon or somewhere down there that would be the item you would take there and you'd use that in the basin that would unlock the path to Lorien and Lothric so Lorien and Lothric you then go all the way back up to fight Lorien so instead of them being the penultimate boss, they are like the Ornstein and Smoa book. They're like the mid-boss. They're like the midpoint of the game. You fight them. When you beat them, that would then... I think that would open the path to Arch Dragon Peak. When you go up Arch Dragon Peak, the giant bell would be there. When you rang the bell, that would resurrect the Lords of Cinder, like in the intro. But you're doing it at the end of the game. And then when you resurrected them that would be the cue to go fight them. So it would be like one where you beat Ornstein and Smoke at the Lord Vessel that unlocks the four endgame bosses. I mean, this would be beat Lorien and Lothric, ring the bell, that unlocks the endgame bosses. Like, that's as far as I can make it. It was like that. And yeah, um, Irithyll Dungeon was always as far as I can tell. Uh, Bubble just saying she doesn't like it when I say Ornstein. I should say Ornstein. <laughs> Because, as we, as we know, Dragonslayer Ornstein is named after the composer Leo Dragonslayer. Is that a joke or real? Yes, oh. yes, it's a joke. <laughs> no, he's, named, he's named after the composer. You cut out! He's named after what? Leo Ornstein. No, no! Because <laughs> you cut out, so I only heard Just you. go to Firelink! <laughs> oh no, okay! Richie, Richie, you kept saying the word a basin, right? A basin. A basin. You have nine Estus flasks. Please heal yourself, or those oh. things will one shot you. Okay, but you know, a, a, uh, what, yeah, you know that word you were saying. No, I don't. A, a, is that how you pronounce it? Like, you you just said it. I'm just not pronouncing it right. What word? Basin? Basin? <laughs> uh, yes! <laughs> Wait, okay, I will... 
So when you get back to Firelink, Anastasia will be dead. So grab the things from where she's dead and then go to Andre and we can keep going. B-A-S-I-N. What? B-A-S-S- B-A-Basin. A basin. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, okay, same thing. Jesus, I thought it was, like, really off, Richie. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you know you're saying basin, but yeah. do you know what basin means in Russian? I don't know, Sin. What does basin mean in Russian? <laughs> it means pool. <laughs> like a swimming Good. pool. Well, yeah, that's the same, like, it's a thing for yeah. World Warcraft. Yeah. 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 Okay. People are worrying about my blood pressure right now. <laughs> Ooh, what is this? Uh-oh. Oh, no! Latrek! Help me! Somebody stole Anastasia! Grab the soul. Did I grab it? You walked off without the soul. Get the soul. Get the soul on the orb. <laughs> We're not going back here. <laughs> I think I got it. Good. <laughs> so now go to Andre. Go Do I need the to? Ladder. Oh no! Oh no! I have no fire. That means if I die, I have to go back from 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 the other <laughs> fire. No, let's light it. Light the fire. Oh no. Oh no! Light, go up the elevator to the <laughs> okay. parish, okay. walk directly forward, and go to Andre's bonfire. Okay. Ah! Oh shit! Did you see this? He scared me. Hi! Every time I hear you scream, I worry that you've fallen off something <laughs> and we're gonna have to walk all the way back from Blight Town again. <laughs> oh, Sketchy Dude is back. What's up? He has a tiny tinnitus. Richie, so I have the perfect topic for our next SHT podcast. Did I tell you about that? You can take Tevil set off now if you want. Why? Because you don't have to fight the four kings again. They'll be back. What if in my game they'll be back and it'll be the eight kings? You can have eight kings if you want. You can go up to 12. What? Because of how the spawning works. Mm -hmm. What about 24? I don't think that's possible. Yeah, it would be too crowded. I'm sure there's a mod where you fight <laughs> 40 kings at once and Lobos Jr. has done it on soul level 1 with his fists. Mm -hmm. But we are not Lobos Jr. <laughs> what makes you say that? <laughs> we did beat Seath with one pixel, so I don't know. We're pretty good. Yay, I can rest! <sighs> okay, so go to Sens and I'll put my sign down. Go to where? Sens. Oh, uh, I think it's this way. It's, yeah, it's just across that bridge. Oh, where's my friend the Onion Knight? Oh, we didn't even talk to him. Oh, I just went to New Londo to visit my friends, the Four Kings. I <gasps> hope they're doing well. <laughs> <laughs> what a traitor! And then we go back there and we have to fight People him. are calling Sense Fortress Sins. Ah! <laughs> Sins Fortress. So what should I wear instead of this? Okay, thing? people asking about the angels. The angels, I think, are meant to be the true form of humans, yeah, because they look like a locust. Um, like, in, like, like, basically what's happening in, in Rings... The, you can take off the covenant now. Um, is that the the pilgrims from Londor? They're cracking open and they're they're pupating into like cicada things. So like the angels are just like the end point of that. There's all this cicada imagery in uh, Ring City, and the idea is that like 
everyone is like humans were like a shell that's being cast as. Um, is your sign somewhere here? Are you hollow? Yes, you are. Ah. Oh. Also, when you go back to the bonfire to ho to unhollow, upgrade Latrex set because it's like plus nothing. But it's a plus nothing run. A um, lot of questions about the angels. I don't know because I I feel like like it's not consistent. Like it's just like. The, we talked about this last time, but the whole Gertrude plot makes absolutely no, like, internal sense at all. You have to use it, so... Um... Like, it makes no sense internally, so I think it was probably planned for something else, and we don't know where it went. And yeah, people ask, like, what's the deal with the angels and the wings if angels were floating, like, bug things? Who knows? Because, like, so much was changed. <laughs> But it looks like from the base game, angel just refers to like the sort of traditional depiction of an angel as like someone with um. Because the painting we're talking about, you see, there's like the dark sign in the sky, and there's a, an angel in golden armor, like feathered wings descending in front of it, and it's hidden away. And presumably, that's supposed to be a reference to like what Gertrude was doing, because you find the this the set of the Gertrude aligned knights next to it. So I think the idea is that um. Like, it was initially some sort of, some sort of, like, act, like, I want like, Christian angel thing was happening. And then it became the, the, um, the bug things later on. Is Media the Abyss Dragon? I have no idea. Um, they just mentioned the Abyss Dragon and then it, it's never talked about again. Like, it could have been Calamite for all we know. Um, Millwood is probably meant to be Mirror from Dark Souls 2, so who knows. I have a very good video on the Millwood Knights before this channel yeah. was ruined. Yeah. 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 Is that before I, before I ruined it? Yeah. I will yeah. link it in the description. Yeah, yeah. And I will reminisce about what this could have been. What do I think about Guinevere and DS3? I think, like, like a lot of the Lothric stuff got shifted around so like Guinevere I think Guinevere probably is meant to be like either the mother or the grandmother or something of Lorraine and Lothric yeah because the Queen of Lothric is one of those things where they're like <clears throat> they make a big deal out of her as a mystery but then it goes it just goes nowhere it's not like it, it ends on an ambiguous note or something it just it just never goes anywhere it's not like the story of the the queen sort of ends on a note, and it's like, oh, but like, who knows what happened to her? She just they're just like, by the way, the queen of Lothric, and then she left, and that's it, and there's nothing else to it. Where is your sign? It's by the pillar. You should see it soon. Um, the sign disappears if you leave, like, the fortress gate, so you have to get rid of these guys first. Yeah, there's, like, discussion about... You're dead again, aren't you? So, like, Guinevere is either the mother or the grandmother in a lot, and, um, like, either. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter because it doesn't go anywhere. Hey, wasting away. Cause like um, Sin beat the four kings. We're just doing. Hey. Sin yeah. So I want to ask you if Aldrich ever came on the podcast. He did kind of because you made me read something you wrote as Aldrich. Oh yeah. Okay, he did. Wait, let me let me link. Okay, let me summon you and then I'll link it. He did. Yeah, it's true. Uh, the cinematic shows the flame inside an arch tree. I guess the flame just appeared. I don't know where it came from. I mean, it would kind of have to be in an arch tree, because at that point there's nothing but arch trees and, and the giant ash tree. I don't know how literally you're actually meant to... Honestly. Oh, 
because it's someone telling like an old story, so. Um, okay, um, Bubble asking about Pontiff Sullivan. So, like, the... Pontiff Sullivan was going to be the final boss of Dark Souls 3 initially, and he was called the Old King of the Eclipse. And I don't know what his actual backstory was, but you would, um... You would end the game in Untended Graves. Like, that would be the final area of the game. You from Fire... Instead of warping from Firelink to, like, the Drake Heap part, you'd warp from Firelink to Untended Graves. And then you would go up the Bell Tower, where you find the Firekeeper's Skull. You'd go up there, and you would ring the bell in Untended Graves. And then when you rang it in, un in Untended Graves, that would wake up um, Old King of the Eclipse, who was who was in that giant coffin, um, in where you fight um, Gundia. Presumably, like, he would spawn in that arena, so I guess it's meant to be his call. I just and, like, posted he... the link to Eldritch. Yeah, yeah. So he would appear, and you would fight him in the arena where you fight Gundir, and he was the final boss. But, like, all we know about him is he's called Old King of the Eclipse. I don't know, like, what story was really behind him. He was just kind of a... Uh... I don't know, like, maybe he may have been the thing in God's grave, for all we know. But yeah, uh, Old King of the Eclipse. So like, the whole Pontiff Sullivan thing, Aldrich stuff that comes later on. And yeah, Gun Bubble pointing out Sorry. that Old King of the Eclipse is an extremely berserk thing. Uh -huh. Oh no, why, why are we here? We beat the four kings, because why we are we in the creepy dungeon? We have dungeon? to go to an Orlando! Why do we have to go to an Orlando? What's happening? I thought this was it! I thought I could move on with my life! <laughs> I think- No! Well, why know. did you kill my serpent friend? You well, monster! The he'll, he'll respawn. <gasps> you horrible, horrible monster! I usually come by to see him and chat and see how his wife is doing. He doesn't attack you, he just chills there. Is his wife the one of the serpent mages? <laughs> his wife? Yeah, maybe. Or maybe his wife is like the ball? And that's why it's like... It's cool, he's just like waiting for her, you know? And it's really yeah. romantic. Good. Oh, we got the double, uh... The double... Uh... Boulder glitch. What's that? But sometimes if you're online with someone, you get two boulders. Like, it spawns two. Ah. Yeah. I, uh, I got Laura killed in that. Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna kindle this bonfire because it's on fire. Mm -hmm. People pointing out that, like, um, the arch trees are very similar to Eagle. They, they are. Yeah, I, I have attempted to read Berserk, but it's just so long that, like, I don't... I haven't had time to make any significant progress through it. Yeah, Rich is too busy the... watching Empty yeah. Geist. Yeah, I watched the 97 anime of Berserk. And I I have the, the newer version, but I've never seen it. I just have it on DVD. So yeah, I think we do have to beat the game. We do beat the game. Because, like, when, um... When you... If, if we were still fighting the Four Kings, like, now, I would say, okay, maybe just end it after the Four Kings, but we did okay. Okay. So I think it's fine to say we will... I have a new set! It's the Serpent set, Richie, look! Do you love it? It's lovely. Thank <laughs> you. It's high fashion.
Oh, did I did I reverse hollowing? Yeah, my sign should it just takes a bit to appear oh. because of has uncovered a secret armor set. <laughs> yeah, people, people are liking this stream, so I think we do. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Are people appreciating my jokes? Yes. Because you certainly aren't. Well, I'm focusing on reading the chat. Okay. It gives poise. Resistance. Hmm. Oh, we can learn another Russian word. Fortress. Yeah. Yeah, what's that? I don't know. I'll have to look it up in Google Translate. Good. And as we know, Google Translate is more than a native speaker. <laughs> yes, we have learned and that. And that's all we're going to say. <laughs> mm -hmm. So let's see. Because there, there were many tears involved, and I've been knocked off by a pendulum. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> that's Karma for talking crap about Google Translate. Right okay. <laughs> okay, if you stay there, I'll just okay. leave. Yeah. Sign in there. So, Fortress is Kriapist. Right. Can you repeat that? No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Kriya past. Kriya. Kriya past. It, it has a P. It's like, I'll type it, I'll write it in Kriya past. Like Kriya this. Past. Yeah, exactly. The T Kriya is past. like okay. soft. Yeah. Kriya past. Kriya past. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. And it, it sounds like Kriyapki is basically like strong, you know, or like tough right. or whatever. Yeah. Dense, I don't know, so it's like something that's strong. So how would you say Sin's Fortress? What's Sin? Like, me Sin? Or you. Is... Yeah, you. Uh, Kriapest Sina. Kriapest Sina. Yeah. So it's like Fortress of Sin. Okay. But Sin meaning Sin, not like, how do you say Sin in Russian? Let's see. I can't, it's so weird, like, I speak Russian fluently, right? But, like, to go from, like, what is this word to that, that's, like, hard. Let's see, a sin in Russian. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, okay, griach. Like this. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Meg. Griach. Okay, my sign should appear in front of you, sure. Okay. Oh, wait, you're facing the wrong. Turn, turn 180 degrees. Richie sabotaged me by having me stand exactly where the lightning could hit me. Did y'all see that? <coughs> what do we think about games being called... Being called what? Souls like. That's chill. What do you think? You know what game I you know what game I recently discovered is What? Bubsy and Fractured Furry Tale. Oh, really? Why? I was watching two people stream it last uh -huh. night. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um it's all based around ambushes. Okay. You die constantly, but uh -huh. any any switches you activate stay activated after you've died. Oh, so interesting. I have bad news for everyone. What is it? Bubsy is now a soul's life. <laughs> Sounds legit. Oh, your friend is alive again. Oh, hey friend! I'm gonna go say hi. Okay. Hey! How you so doing? I, I won't kill him. I'm sorry and the other will... mean guy killed you before. Look, he, he, he doesn't even do anything bad. Hey love! Look, he's my friend! Just chills there. I love him. He's a, he's a tunnel snake. He's the coolest. I love him. Look at that. It's just like, what's yeah. up? Do you know what this is, Richie? You know? Okay, I will explain exactly what this is. Do you know is what it means? Is this a vault from Fallout? <laughs> Maybe. He said he was a tunnel snake. Yeah, I know. That was a joke. No, this he is a personification of Sipa Majab. Do you know what that means? No. It's not my job. 
so it's like his shift is over and you know there's an intruder in the in the fortress he's like it's not my job like it's not my job like my shift is over bye i love what him my job's worth, what what are my jobs worth <laughs> Where did he's you on go? smoko that's the australian version oh okay wait for the boulder to go by i i yeah, okay, I into the alcove with me. Okay. <gasps> Jesus. Okay, you gotta go through the, the line. Okay. Okay, we were in business. Okay. Don't, no, don't, don't. don't, don't There's a trap it. here. Where? This, like, what? Wait. You're making me nervous. The, the man serpent's gonna trigger a trap when he walks through the thing. Okay. They yeah, didn't. It's fine. Oh, no. It's okay. Boom! In the butt. And how do we okay, say so butt in Russian? Okay, so be careful because there's... There's a thing. It's gonna go off. No, we learned how to say button Russian. How okay. do we say button Russian? I got you. <laughs> so this is this is where I got Laura killed. Oh no! I'm gonna run up and try to switch the what ball. What is happening? Wait, I have. There's a ball that's gonna pass, right? Or... Yeah. Did I just? Did it yeah, just I'm, pass? I'm going, to, oh. I'm going to reverse the ball to direction. Oh, so where I do got I up go? There, it's fine. Um... No, you can go down. I go down? No, I go up. Well, yeah, you can go up if you want, yeah. You can go down if you want to get items, but it's not. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's some... One just, I'll just activate the trap here. Yes. Okay. Uh, do I know if the painted world of DS3 is repurposed content? I don't know. Um, like, the Ring City 100% is, like... Repurposed um, Lothric stuff. <laughs> Ari and Del, I don't know about. Oh, good. Richie, you didn't tell me there were going to be blades there. You just ran confidently and I well, ran I... after you. Right. It's fine. It's fine. Get back to the stuff. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Hope you enjoy we your stay. We're allowed to have like. We beat the four kings! People need to be lenient. People need to be lenient! Our characters are very tired, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, they had to wear, like, a Halo set for, like, an hour, and it's very heavy. <sighs> what is the connection between the, the Lost Era of the Ring City and... Okay. People asking about the Ring City, what we think that the Gale Desert shit might actually be left over from Irithyll. We think that Gale is what was in Irithyll. Thank you, Tovarish. <laughs> I'm translating what you're saying. So we think, like, the reason um, that Gale's arena is absolutely massive and that you just sort of, like, wake up um, Filianor and now it's a desert. We think that that Maybe because Gale's Arena was part of the Anolondo Desert part originally. If you walk out the door, it stops summoning. Go on now, go! Walk out the door! Mm -hmm. You're not welcome Damn. anymore! Okay, it's yeah, alright. Now you're dead. Oh wait, you got summoned? I thought I kind of give up there because I thought you weren't going to be summoned because they said if I walk if you, out the door, if you I'm walk summoned. Out the door, I walked out the door and I saw you. I saw you. I saw yeah. you watching me die in the doorway. Are you gonna, is this more sabotage? Yes, it was like yeah, the sabotaging scary. Sabotaging you in a way that I gain nothing from. Yeah, it was like a scary movie. Like I die and then I see you with the corner of my eye, where it's like you did get yeah. summoned. You know. Yeah, um, the place from the intro cinematic, the place from the intro cin- Old and Orlando Desert area. Because the, the ruins that the pilgrims are walking past, like, when the camera moves, you can see that it's the same assets that you see in Aerith. So that was presumably, like, the Anolondo Orlando Desert. Richie? Yes? Do you know how to say camera in Russian? I should, but I don't. It's camera. That makes sense. Yeah. Do you know how to say movie in Russian? I should, but I don't. It's a film. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. 
Because I had to look at, like, early um, Russian cinema at one point, but I've forgotten <laughs> so much of it. So what, what cinema did you look at? What stuff did you look at in terms of early Russian cinema? Oh, it, it was just, like, the development of film. So there's, like, a whole, like early Russian experiments with like, montage and documentary. Oh, yeah. Cool. And the greatest Russian film, of course, Night Watch. God, I hate you. We still have to do the Nightwatch book resume. I read the first chapter and I was like, I can understand how I thought this was good when I read it when I was 16, but now it's just like, uh, yeah. Jesus, what is this? Yeah. The movie was much worse, though. Yeah. Yeah. Ричард пьет по блатному, а Ричард вообще не пьет. Somebody asked a question, which I answered. Yeah. Okay, it looks like the boulder state changed, so we should be able to go up for it. Okay. Yeah, I was killing this thing. Oh. Trying to protect you. Okay. So, has the boulder reset? It has. Don't follow me up here because I'm gonna get hit. Well, too late. Oh no, did you die? No, you're yeah. a screen. Brother! No! <sighs> okay, if you just go back to part of... Why would I go back anywhere? Do you want me to meet you? Then? Yeah, meet me here. I feel like, you know, spoilers and game spoilers, so don't listen if you haven't seen Endgame. You know how... Um, when Thanos killed Loki, and Thor was like, brother, that's how I felt right now, Richie. Okay. Yeah. So Thanos is a ball in this version. <laughs> yes. Well, this ball is pretty indestructible, and like, Thanos is pretty OP. Yeah. 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 Have you seen Endgame, Richie? No. I've seen Endgame. Yes. Yeah. Oh, have you just? Well, I bet you can't name every MCU <laughs> while clapping and saying, SEEN IT! <laughs> no. When you say it this way, it sounds like something like a crazy person would do. Well, I think the pe that's up to the people who <laughs> to decide whether you sounded crazy or not. Yes. Do you think Thanos is like the best bad guy ever? Cause like I haven't seen Infinity War. But it doesn't matter, like you know about him. Cause like when I my, saw, well, I know about it, but my my understanding is like from the first Thanos comic where he has a helicopter with the word Thanos written. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> that is awesome. And he's just, just trying to kill as many people as possible to get death to notice him. I know! It's like, notice me some time. <laughs> I feel like that's, Don, that's a better, like, motivation than the one he has now, where it's something to do with, like, a lack of resources. Yeah, but no, but the one he has now makes him sound more like he's, you know, in his mind he's doing something good, you know? Yeah. So it's like, oh. Whereas if you just kill people for death to notice you, it sounds a little selfish. 
I think killing half the universe is fairly solid. No, no, because if you've seen it, you know that he sacrifices his daughter to get the soul stone, and he cries. Yeah. So it's like that's. He the sacrificed most... a lot of people's daughters. Yeah, yeah, but he don't care about those. He only cares about well, her. That, yeah, that's that's the sort of problem. Well, <laughs> it's just a loophole. Okay, I'm, I'm up here. I bet it turns out I can't summon signs down. Oh no, I can. Okay, good. Yeah, I felt sad, like, at the end when, yeah. like, Iron Man's like, I am Iron Man, and we do, and then, like, he destroys Thanos' like, whole army, and Thanos is, like, so sad. I was like, oh man. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah. Just, uh, my sign is down, like, somewhere around yeah. the... the I'll see it, I'll see it, I got it. Okay, good. Okay, good. <sighs> yeah, Michael, we beat the... Kings already, and we're gonna. Yeah, we beat the four yeah. kings already. Oh my god! Another one when I always cry when the bad guy dies is um. Uh... Mm -hmm. Oh, but what if people haven't seen it, so I can't say it. But it's. Well, there's a good chance you'll confuse the plot with the plot of Beast. Wars, <laughs> so... Oh god, that only happened once, Rich. You let it go. <laughs> Beast Wars. We should totally like do a podcast on Beast Wars. I really like that Beast cartoon. Wars. What? What is wrong with you? How do you know all these unknown, obscure things and like Russian films and this and that, but have not seen Beast Wars? What a rube! <laughs> <laughs> it's familiar with early Soviet montage techniques, but have seen Beast Wars. <laughs> Okay. So there's another one of the big bridges coming up. Um, it might be better if you, like, watch me cross okay. and then follow me when I'm on the other side. Cause oh, I, I got like the secret area, outfit again. This area might actually be harder in co-op, because you bump into each other on these bridges. <gasps> oh, shoot! There's a guy shooting at me. Oh, my God. I'll take him out. It's all right. Okay. But he has a family, Richie. And we'll respawn. Okay. Okay. Oh no, and it's so dark. Oh, I hate this part. I remember this. It's like you have to run, then stop. I literally cannot see! Okay. Someone's left a message. I know, I know. Yeah, I see the message. Thank you, kind sir. Yay! Teamwork! Thank you, Souls community. Look, do you like my new dress? Yep, I was just very, very hurriedly rushing down to make sure you didn't trigger the tr Okay, so go through there. We just need to make it to the bonfire and we're set. Make it to the bonfire! Oh, why is it so dark here? Jesus, okay, one thing I don't like about this remake is how dark it is. The original wasn't that dark. Where's it's the darker in some <laughs> spots. Follow me. Follow me! Oh yeah, I remember this. Yeah, okay, so I'll black crystal out here. Bye! <sighs> okay, so I can't walk to this bonfire, so I'm gonna have to climb up. Okay, I need, um, I need a two minute break. I need to okay. get more Dr. Pepper and perhaps a snack. Okay, I'll meet you with the thing then. Okay. In the meantime, okay. you can teach people more about Russian film cinema. Okay. Okay, okay, I'll be back. Why was that okay? okay? Like, unsure. Did you not go to film school? Yeah, but I went to film production school. Okay, well, yeah, talk the, about the Russian film production. <sighs> Thank you, Victor. Yeah, that bonfire is, uh... Okay, Harvey saw a Russian silent film called Earth. Uh, I have not seen that.
It was about wheat and dirt, that sounds about I have the DVD of uh, Satin Tango, which is a Hungarian film about the collapse of an agricultural community. It's seven hours long. And I've not got around to watching that yet. Now at the bonfire we're sinners. Have I played Greedfall? I, I basically haven't played anything. People are always surprised, like, oh, I didn't know you, like, you, what do you mean you haven't played this, and, like, you only have this many trophies? And it's like, I pretty much... The only games anyone has... The, like, the Souls games are, like, where the Venn diagram of things I've played and things people have heard of intersect. Like, the stuff I mostly play is just, like, garbage. It's the stuff that, like, if anyone follows, like, Flophouse funsies. Like, I play a lot of the stuff that they show off on that. Just, like, cheap, sort of, like, kind of exploitative. I guess the game equivalent of exploitation movies. I play a lot of, like, cheap shovelware crap. And stuff like that. Um, The Abyss is, like... The, no, the thing about, like, the flame in the dark is, like, it gets... The way that some people explain it, it sounds like it's actually a cycle between fire and dark. What it is, is that there's the, the ancient age where everything is grey and there is no time and there is no past, there is no future. And nothing ages and nothing changes. And then when the flame appears, that, like, it changes how all of reality functions. And then, like, you can't go back. And then what happens with the dark is that's what follows the flame. So it doesn't go fire, dark, fire, dark, fire, dark. It goes fire, dark. Or fire like one of the other ages they had in, in 3. And after that happens, you can't just go back to... It's like the world has, has been irrevocably altered. Uh, my game is going fine. I, um, I had to pause it for a while to do some other stuff. I have more stuff to show off because I've been doing like... Um, uh, a lot of graphical stuff that, like, isn't actually in the game. It's just on, like, sprite sheets. So I, I guess I could show some of that off on Twitter. It's just, like... I cannot draw for shit. So I've been trying to draw monster graphics, and I'm very bad at it. But I, I've gotten there. I've done all, um... What is it? 60 of them? It's kind of my issue, because it's, like, this game that's meant to be... This, this 60, I hardly noticed the Gary Larson. It's, like... There's 60 different enemy, not not enemy types, enemy graphics that I've got to do that most people aren't going to see. Because you'll play it once and there'll be like, there'll be like eight monsters in the whole, in the whole game. If you want to see more, you have to play. It's all, it's all randomized and it's very short. Um, well, I like, yeah, people bring up Age of Deep Sea, like... If they did a Dark Souls 4, I would want, like, just completely different. And I like the idea of a world that's completely drowned. And you would be, like, on a ship or something, like, float instead of filing shrine, you'd be floating around in this, like, like, abyssal ocean. Like, docking at these, like, islands, or kind of like wind waves. Like, something like that would be interesting. Um, yeah, the whole thing about the Firekeeper saying, like, she can see embers in the darkness, like, yeah, I'm, I'm almost certain that the end of 3, they just wrote it because they were like, oh, we need, um, we, we need to have, uh, uh, like, something open for if we do Dark Souls 4, we can't actually end it. So she's got to be like, oh, well, the, the fire ended, but there might be another Okay. And, like, there have been some, like... There's, like, the Pirate Cove in 2. Like, a game that's sort of, like, that aesthetic. That's, like, on this big, like, creaking, leaky ship. With, like, sort of hollowed undead pirates and things. Like, that would... Yeah, like some... I've never played some of the sea, but I... Just play it. Hi! Why is... Hey. 
my bon my silence down. I can see it on the screen. So. Okay. How do I know it's really you? What? How do I know it's really you? You know what? You don't. <laughs> That's the gamble you have to take. <laughs> okay. Richard, did you see Lawrence is testing you? Yep, the, do the doll is earned because anything you don't understand. <laughs> it's a classic troll from the Master <laughs> Miyazaki himself. <laughs> yeah, I played a little bit of Salt and Sanctuary to get very far, though. Are, are you gonna fall? I thought I, I thought I saw you. Can you please go, Tyler? <laughs> Being a fucking petty douchebag. <laughs> I showed Sin that video. Yeah. <laughs> she enjoyed it. That was cool. Do you want me to run through and kill the giant who's throwing? Um, no, I Does got anyone it. Does have to deal with it on the I got it, though. I played this part, I remember. It slits to seeth, right? No! No? No, it leads to Iron Golem. What about seeth? What? What? After after the Golem, it's seeth, right? No, after the Golem, it's Anna Longa. What? Hmm. You're going to accuse me of bullying you if I say anything. <laughs> but you've just said... <laughs> I know this place, I've done it before, I... Somewhere else. So... Did I summon you? Yes! Where are you? Have you been drinking again? <laughs> Did you leave already? Yes. Oh, okay. I'm coming. <laughs> have you been drinking I take the fifth? <laughs> Where do I go? Do, do I go up? I'm just getting rid of the giant who's throwing the fire. Why though? He's chill. So you don't have to you don't have to deal with five walls for me. But is my discomfort really worth killing him over? I mean well, what you have to you have to also factor in the dis <laughs> No, Richard. Yeah. You have a problem with Thanos killing half of the universe for the good of the universe, but you have no problem yeah. killing the giant for the good of the stream? I, I sense a little hypocrisy there. That's true, that's true. <laughs> so you need to have, um, you need to get a photo of me when I'm talking, but <laughs> freeze frame it on a frame where I'm making a stupid face, and then change the title to Hypocrite Reveal. <laughs> And then in the front, there's you with like one eyebrow cocked, doing a like, oh, really face. <laughs> Can that be another podcast, Hypocrite Revealed? <laughs> yep. Yep. I see two cages. Do I have to get in them? Um, you can use them as a lift if you get a key. To Oh my god, Harvey, how do you know about that? Harvey said Sony I doesn't know. It on Twitter. Right! Yeah. <laughs> Forgot. It's true, they don't. <laughs> okay, someone's messaging me asking if I can help them get the knights on. Um, I can, but not on stream. <laughs> Do it later on. <laughs> okay. Bubble pointing out that I can't make a stupid. Bubble what? Sorry, you cut out for me. Bubble pointing out that I can't make a stupid face. You can't make a stupid face? Yeah, because all my faces are the same. Because all your faces are stupid. Oh, good one, Bubble. That may be the implication. <laughs> Do you want to grab Tarkus? <gasps> Hi, Tarkus! What is up? Tarkus is um the Spider Girl's boyfriend, right? 
Uh, um, sure. No? Tark is the Scorpion Man in 2. And if you talk to him, he says he can't remember his name. Which led to the theory that Tark from 2 is Tarkus from 1 and he's turned into a Scorpion. No, no, okay, I'm confusing him with someone in, in oh, this game. Oh, with Kirk. <gasps> yeah, okay. Kirk! Okay, never mind. Yeah. Oh, but I like how I predicted retroactively content I didn't even know about that was a theory. Good job, Sin. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Tarkus should... Tarkus can basically solo iron. Go, Tarkus! Okay, let's watch. No! Tarkus, no! He's go coming. <laughs> you said, hey, Tarkus, and he's like, yes. <laughs> You know, Tarkus reminds me of the guy from um, Demon Souls. The big guy. And you hit him on the knee as well. You mean Tower Knight? <gasps> oh, oh no. Oh, no. Okay, good, you survived. I thought he was gonna throw you off the edge. Me too, me too. I thought it was dead. No. Okay. Victory achieved! Thank you, Tarkus. Good. Thank you, Richie. That's okay. What is this thing? There's a thing. Oh, I'm examining it. What is that? It's like the go to an Orlando button. Oh. Oh, it's like, you know, when you need to cross the street, you have to press a button for the little guy to appear? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. So, I'm gonna meet you uh, in an Orlando. You can't summon in Anor Londo until you're down the lift, so just tag the bonfire and go down the lift and be mm -hmm. on the uh, Caleb says, good job, Sim, for doing all the work. And Thank you, appreciate it. <laughs> also, because I killed Gwendolyn, the Dark Moon Night S is, like, chasing me. Oh, no. But if I kill her, I can't use the bonfire. That uh oh happened. Uh oh what? What happened? She was chasing me and she jumped down the ladder. Oh. Uh -uh. So that bonfire doesn't work anymore. It's alright. Wow, nice going. Richie. Okay. Well, I'll put my sign down. It's okay, I can use the dark moon too. Hmm. This is a nice, this is a nice place. I like it. Especially this is like a PS1 game. I mean, PS3 game, right? Yeah, the Anolondo, the uh, the exterior of Anolondo looks but the interior looks terrible. How would you improve the interior? <clears throat> well, you'll see when you get there. Basically, the interior looks like um, they've just got a flat, like, plastic thing and lit it. And it sort, of, it sort of looks like I'm watching a tutorial video, and it's like, now that we've set up the why don't you add It's like a blended tutorial. So, like, everything looks really, really, like, flat when you go inside. I think it's... I think the issue is to do with directional versus ambient lighting. If there's a light source in the area, it looks good. But if it's just, like, lit, it looks... Like, this looks nice. Yeah. Because there's a fire in the middle, but then later on when we go in there... Where's your sign, um, When we go into, like, it's... You can't put signs down. You have to go down the yellow. Okay, okay. Yeah, go on. Yeah. Um, but later on, like, we'll go into hall where there's no light source, and it's just ambient lighting, and it looks, like, really bad. Mm -hmm. Um, Lawrence asking, like, the ending where we kill the fire keeper to take the flame, unlike the usurpation, we don't consume it. Um, I don't remember, because I haven't played 3 for ages. Hi Did Caleb! Anyone... Welcome! Yeah. yeah, we beat the 4 kings. I think, yeah, I think, like, <clears throat> the difference is that you're not properly hollowed or something. Oh my god, there is a guy here. It's a gargoyle, yeah. What do I do? Tap my sign and Where's then, your um, sign? It's on, the, it's on the base to the stairs. It's not. 
Or is it? Okay, you killed the four kings, you can kill the guy. You already killed two of these at once in, in the parish with Sol. Okay, but where's your summon one. sign? It's at the bottom of the stairs. It only, like, the, the way the summon... Oh, leave it at the top of the stairs. Because at the top of the stairs where the blood stain and the message. Okay. Which means that it will be harder to summon me because you're... But nevertheless, it is there. I think the summoning will fail because you made me move. Yeah. There we go. Did it fail? I think it might have. Oh my god, you saboteur number one, two, yeah. three, yeah. four, yeah. five, six, seven, yeah. eight, nine, yeah. ten, yeah. eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Oh no! <laughs> Why didn't you tell me the bridge ends there? Because it very clearly ends. You there. clearly because... over forty saboteur because you didn't tell me I was running away from the gargoyle. I'll meet you back then. At least now people will know that I'm not exaggerating when I count it all the way to forty plus. Yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> you need to make a, like, Dark Souls bad game design question mark, but it's all things like, <laughs> tell me the bridge ended here. <laughs> I'm just trying to get across this bridge, but there's a gargoyle. <laughs> a good game would remove the gargoyle. <laughs> Gravity of people is nerf. Yes, right. Where did you... Mm. Oh my god! Do I have to hold... Oh, Jesus Christ. Who invented this game? Ah! Oh! Oh, you have to pop a humanity, and then you have to go sit at the bonfire, and have a reverse Halloween. Oh, but then what if you don't have a volume? Jesus Christ. Oh. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, it is bad game design. <laughs> this is like an irate game of it. I'm just trying to make it through the level, and it'd be much easier if these enemies weren't here trying to kill me. Second level? <laughs> what? <laughs> ah! <clears throat> okay. Okay. Okay, we can do this. <gasps> okay. I don't know what just happened. Did you fall down the thing? <laughs> the elevator saved me. Good. Good. The only non saboteur in here. I hate this elevator. Well, I love it. No, it, it has this really annoying, like, timer thing. I feel like it, it needs to reset to the top every time. It makes, otherwise you have to sit there and wait for it every time. So where is your sign? It's at the top of the stairs where it was last time. But I don't see it. It'll take a while to appear because, like, the loading's are like, right outside the door. Oh, somebody says turn your brightness up. Bright brightness? Oh my god! Do you see this? Is this a brightness option? You've unlocked the hidden easy mode. Is this the literal I don't believe this. Are you for what? real? Wait, why did you Rich, I've been complaining about the brightness thing for how long? And I was like, oh, is it the game? Is it just my screen? Is it one? You're like, oh, it's just how it is. It's just, it's intended to play like that. The entire time it was right there? <laughs> what 
Brightness yeah, or do we um, have a all, option? Pretty much all games have a Brightness option. I assume Okay, you but pretty much all brightness. games have an easy mode. So... No, they don't. Don't. Well, not all games. I'm sure there's a game... Does Mario... Mario for Nintendo, did that have Mario a Brightness? Mario does have an easy mode. No, does it have Brightness? No. Ah, uh, there you go. You need to go to the top of the stairs to make the sign. I am at the top of the stairs. No, you have to be outside of the door. I am outside of the door. Uh-oh, gargoyle. Okay, where are you, Richie? Oh. Uh. Oh my god, I'm panicking. Can't, can't summon you. <laughs> I am pressing buttons and they're wrong. <coughs> okay, okay. If you go back through there, it'll cancel the. It won't, because there will be a fog wall. That's what I mean, if you go past the fog wall. You can't go past stuff. the fog wall, you have to like. If you go past the fog wall before the fog wall spawns in. Oh no, I have to remember the bridge ends. Okay, so it's bridge yeah. ends. Okay. Yeah. It's okay, eventually we unlock the full bridge. <laughs> I can see you in the distance being hit. It's okay. Okay! Now that we're here... Oh no, it's tail! Poor thing! You know, you didn't care at all when Sif died. What? Like how you've, you've cared about every <laughs> single, like, boss, every <laughs> random snake thing. What are <laughs> Then Sif, the one that, like, everyone cries over and wants to install <laughs> mods so she, so she doesn't die. You're just like, oh, cool, Covenant. <laughs> really? I don't, yes. I don't remember that. I think you might be exaggerating yet again. We'll have to watch it back. Do you want to attempt the raft, or do you want me to do the raft? The what? And then just, um, there's a part, we have to walk along some raft, it's instant death. Um, if you want, like, I can just run, oh no, I can't, because there's a fog wall. Um, I don't, I don't know what you're saying. I don't understand. That's alright. <laughs> <laughs> you cry over every boss, then you kill Sif, and it's like, owned. <laughs> Fuck yeah. you, loyal dog. <laughs> Did you see what Harvey wrote? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Damn, Harvey. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is cool. Why do you not like it? The interior is cool. Look how tall it is. And you have to walk on this thing. It's very scary. No, this this one's fine. It's just like so much worse one. Okay. So it's Past not all arches. bad. It just your it. propensity to exaggerate is sometimes troublesome. Mm -hmm. So we should have an SHT podcast where we talk about it. Exaggeration is how you get popular on YouTube. Then you should have been I've, king of YouTube long ago. Oh. I've noticed that's a thing now. Where if someone thinks the game is special, especially bad, uh -huh. they'll call the video "Is Blank the Best Game Ever?" Question <laughs> mark. Maybe that's what we should do, Richie. We'll just find some really <laughs> average games and like. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know one that I really like that I guess is really average. It's called Singularity. Have you played it? No. It's like a shooter and you have powers and like you shoot monsters and like, but I really, really liked it. So I think we yeah. should do that with that game. Okay. Okay, good. I can see you crossing the rafters. We're gonna be fine. Yeah, I'm a pro. <laughs> <laughs> what? I thought you were gonna get to the end and fall off and we <laughs> I thought so too for a second, but yeah, I kept yeah. it cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, so now we just gotta raise this thing. And the bridge will be complete. Yay! So now we have to deal with the arches. Richie! 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 
What? You just turned the celestial dial. Look at it. Yep. There's another gargoyle, by the way. Are the great ones actually gods of Iron Orlando? I'll just deal with the gargoyle. <laughs> Damn. Such shame. Look, are the great ones the gods of Anor like something I would be sent? <laughs> hey, found this really good thread. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, this looks exactly like the place from Dark Souls 3. Yeah, yeah. Did you know that the hit game Dark Souls 3 has a prequel? <laughs> That explains a lot of the plot. Oh no, Richie! What? It's a different place, because in Dark Souls 3, this part has guards. Yeah. Well, this does have guards, they're just much bigger. And much harder. Ah. But also, you're not stuck here for an entire long weekend. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. Mm. I feel like Dark Souls 3 is a really pretty game. <clears throat> wait a minute, wait a minute! These guys brought us here, why are they fighting us? Good question. <gasps> I know what's happening! No, because they're like... Okay, so they brought us here, and they're like, Oh look, we have new friends, but they think we're gonna leave, and they're like, No, don't leave! You're I thought like they bring you here like, We bring you to our house, you kill our painting guardians? <laughs> After we invited you? <laughs> Okay, maybe. I guess your thing would make more sense. I thought they were just like sad because we wouldn't stay for dinner and this is how they express their emotions. You know? Yeah, so this is this is the part with the arches that so <coughs> So how do you want to deal with the arches? like run <coughs> do you Excuse want me. me to rush the archers and then if i die you just stay there i'll put my sign down and summon me again. no okay i'll just rush the archers we just rush them back. together let's go if we or... rush them together we double the did us Woo! That's, the that's what we do it's like that movie that I've never seen, but like everybody's seen it, but I haven't seen it, and I know in the end like something well, bad happens. Well, it's not an MCU movie. <laughs> no. And it's like freedom. Oh, Braveheart. Well, I'm dead. Yeah, we die as a team. Did you die as well? I I I panicked internally. I wasn't sure what to do next. So. Yeah. Good. Well, my sign is where it was before. <clears throat> Do the gargoyles respond? The gargoyles don't respond. Yes! Okay. I shall put my sign further down the bridge so you can. Mm -hmm. I'll put my sign down further down the bridge. Summon me so we can fight. See that? I just made that up. Yeah. It's incredible. It, it, it just They just come to you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm okay myself. <coughs> Did you know that you can uh, bubble, carry arrows? Bubble pointing out that you can. Yeah, um, I know that it's possible, but I'm not very good. <laughs> oh no! God damn game mechanics. You're hollow, aren't you? I'm gonna give that Miyazaki a call and ask him what he was if thinking. If you want, see the central thing that we may go up. What? You know the cent the like the lift thing with the dial on it. If you make that go down again, there's a bonfire. The you can use that. If you, want. you can respawn from that bonfire if you want instead of the man. You're you're saying a lot of words that I'm trying to visualize. You know when I used the celestial dial, you're going to just. <laughs> Yes. That's a great one. You could just do it. You could just do it. When we did that, yes. if you use that in the opposite direction, it goes down. 
Okay. And at the bottom of that, there's another bomb. Oh, I see. But I'd have to so do it you by want, myself. You'd, you'd have no, but you'd have to make you have to make the thing go up and down every time. So it's it, I don't think it's actually any faster. Okay. So why were you suggesting it? Yeah, because it's, it's just it's an option. What's your option? If it's not a good option, we don't consider it. That's the way of the Dignity mm -hmm. City. <laughs> Ingrid agrees. Okay. Is someone mentioning the time I found a Reddit thread where someone wanted to replace Gwyn with Eminem? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Oh. Alright. See what I mean about how this is on it. But it gave me time to read this encouraging note that said good luck. And the second one as well. So actually it's good. Um, Lawrence, I, I, I have no idea what that is supposed to actually be, to be honest. Like, I, I don't, I have no, I'm sure someone has, like, figured out something, but I, I don't know. My sign's at the bottom of the stairs. My sign's at the bottom, the bottom of the stairs. No, no, Summon me so we can go kill the archers. What? Is it here? Oh, there it is. It's by the... yeah, okay. <clears throat> so, where is Aldrich right now? Has he been born yet? No. Is he? He's looking at Gwendolyn, and it's that cartoon mm -hmm. thing where Gwendolyn's face is on like a leg of ham. What? He's looking at Gwendolyn and imagining him as. A... Oh, <laughs> oh dear. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Okay, Lawrence, like, I'm sure, um, uh, Loki, when he gets around to it, will have some explanation of that end. Oh, yeah. But, like, I, I don't know. Yeah, when Loki's is done Alondo... with his project, he'll have an explanation yeah. for everything. Um, yeah. Dave, Anolondo is the name of the city. Because it's a giant man <laughs> trying to kill me. If I die, you're gonna get unsummoned. But it's like it's like the path to the four kings. We both just if you just like you just run. If I wait for you, where it's actually more dangerous because the enemy. Run like, till they can't no more. Where is you? I'm on the thing. I'm dead now. You are dead man? Yes, I'm die hard dead man. <laughs> the hidden death stranding character. Do okay, me... I'll put. <coughs> I am gonna go and put my sign down. Where do you want me to get um, you? I'll put it down like before the arches and then. Oh god, it's put me back in sense watch because I can't go to him. <gasps> Firekeeper's dead. Oh. Um, so I will go there and. Why then... don't you use the other fire? Do I'm I... going to. I'm just giving you advice. Just making a suggestion. Fly me to the moon. <laughs> Richie Yes For all the people who may be listening to us for the first time Or who may only <laughs> Why would they <laughs> I'm sorry 
I can't even be like it's not usually bad because it is. Or, or people who may only be familiar with our Dark Souls and Bloodborne content, there's other content on the channel that people can watch. Could you talk about that a little bit while you make your way back here? Do you like Reborn? Katekyo Hitman Reborn! Reborn is an anime that Sin <laughs> likes, and presumably the person that wrote is positive <laughs> about. <laughs> Everyone else I know who's talked about it has said either what or oh yeah, I remember that was on when I was in middle school, but I haven't. <laughs> mm -hmm. And if you. Do you think I wish there was a um, Kaleida-style recap series about this show that's not even on anymore? Mm hmm We made one. Mm hmm And we just finished the first season. Mm. Yeah. So, if you like... If you're in the very specific Venn diagram... <laughs> that likes the Souls games and also Hitman Reborn. This is absolutely the perfect channel for you, but no one else. <laughs> uh, um, and we're asking when we're getting more Legacy of Kane. That's a good question. Oh my god, we... Yeah, I've actually been reviewing um, Soul River and stuff and reading about it and getting like some footage of it. Uh, it's yeah. only like a, an issue of time. Like, yeah, because we can only really like, yeah. on weekends. Yeah, is the thing. Yeah. Yeah. And we can only record reborn at five a.m. my time because it just comes naturally to us. I don't think yeah, you could be able to record like like of games at five a.m. Yeah, you decided to record reborn for work every morning. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wasting away. Yes. So this is this is quite the journey because the Anolondo Firekeeper is dead, so I can't I'm bound to that fire but I can't walk from it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <gasps> oh, there was something I wanted to tell you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Where? Um Uh, so, okay, Reborn was written and illustrated by Akira Amano. Yeah. And uh, she's best known for it. And... Okay, so early versions of Reborn uh, were published in seinen manga magazines in late 2003. The series, a standalone short story at the time, was published in the Weekly Shonen Jump magazine. After the, yep. after the success of the short story, the series began serialization in the magazine in mid-2004. Since then, the manga has adapted into an anime, as well as uh, five light novels and several video games. Yeah. On... Yeah, we no, 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 it's not over. Hey, like Richie, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. On yeah. Nikkei Entertainment's list of most successful manga artists, she ranked 12th. Wow. So there we go. <clears throat> go on. I was going to say that there is a Reborn DS game, but it was never translated. So, so we can't play it. Yeah, what do you mean we can't play it? We'll just have Maya on. I'm sure she'll be really happy. <laughs> is that... Hey Maya, I know, I know you're busy, but do you want to sit here and live translate Reborn for us. Mm -hmm. She'd be like, what the fuck is Reborn? <laughs> like, oh, you haven't heard of the 12th most successful manga. <laughs> and she's like, I'm an adult. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Where are you at, Richie? Okay. I'm about to show up. I've, I've ended up uh, using Guinevere's bonfire. So I'll be there in a second. You know what would be cool? You know, in Donkey Kong Country, if you slept too close to the edge, Donkey Kong does a funny animation. Yeah. It would be cool if, like, you could do the same thing in Dark Souls. Would it? 
Yeah. It would be like, oh, I'm about to fall down. Better be careful. You know, and, and they actually said that out loud. That was the one, <laughs> the one piece of dialogue. Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna go down there. <laughs> careful. Yes. <clears throat> Rich is I making feel like fun. I should just kill Guinevere. Wasting away saying Rich is making fun, but I'm working my way through the Reborn podcast. Yay! And they're a good summary too, so even if you miss a few Reborn episodes, you can just listen to the podcast because we sum up every episode before yeah, doing yeah. the analysis. <laughs> no, I, I I'm glad people like the Reborn podcast. I just don't understand. It's just such a bizarre niche that we now occupy, where it's <laughs> it's Dark Souls and also a, an anime most people don't remember. <laughs> Why don't we do Psychopaths then? Because someone said that she did the designs for Psychopath. I watched like the first episode of Psychopaths. Yeah. And it didn't like, you know, catch me. Like it didn't. Not as good as Reborn. Well, <laughs> no, it's like, you know, sometimes you feel a connection with an anime. Like I felt a connection. Like MD with... Guys. Yeah, yeah, like MD Guys, yeah. Reborn, yeah. One Punch Man, um, um, Ben 10. I forget. Cyber City. Cyber City Oedo. <clears throat> so you you have a connection with certain things big trouble in little china yeah well in anime <laughs> i hate you so much oh my god you bully so you know sometimes you just have a connection and psychopaths it was just like it's like we tried but it didn't work it didn't work out between us yeah okay the same oh, no, I moved, this... my, I moved my sign. Where'd you move it? It's facing the stairs. It's where the bloodstains are. Mm. There's also another anime that I started watching with my boyfriend. Uh, apparently it's really successful. Um, it's like there's a guy and a girl. And there's like magic. Um, and she has Maybe like... Maybe the mega burst space. <clears throat> I don't know. She has like keys. And she summons creatures from another dimension. But sometimes they give her attitude. This is funny. Can you tell us why we need the firekeeper to the first flame? I think because she becomes like an embodiment. Like she says, she's bound to it. So I guess like it, they, they're trapped in a relationship where they have to both exist. Mm -hmm. Um, it's it should be there. Just like walk a little further from. The mm -hmm. So what anime am I talking about? Emlyn thinks it might be fairy tale. Yes, it is. Yeah. So my okay. boyfriend and I started watching it. It just didn't like it didn't click. I'm like, okay, well, yeah. no. Um, another one that I like is Sailor Moon from the like nineties. Yeah. That yeah. also like that clicked. Um, yeah. I didn't see it all though. I didn't see it all though. But like, I, I wanted to be watching it. I saw some of the movies. Yeah. What animes have you clicked with, Richie? I this is not an anime, but like there I have a show that's like a slapstick police show starring the the woman who was the live action sailor. That's like the show she did after the, the oh. like, edit. Yeah. I forget what it's called. I think it's called like Bazooka. It's called what? It's called something like Bazooka Cop, where she's just like this incompetent police officer who makes things explode. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, I watched Attack on Titan. Um, yeah. It's I liked it, but at times I found it a little too like. Oh, depressing. No, no, not depressing. The opposite, where it's like, oh, look at us, we're gonna beat this. Oh, let me give you a speech to like, oh, like, you know, it needs to be a little more depressing. I think, you know. Like, the characters are a little too hopeful for my liking. Right. In that case. Even though usually, you know, I'm not into depressing things, there it just didn't seem to fit, so it's like... I mean, I watched, like, what is it, like, the three seasons? I think? I watched a little bit of it. Are you gonna make... Oh, you don't understand. Yeah. So, I'm just gonna kill Guinevere so I don't have to deal with stupid sentinels outside her room. Oh no! Okay. She's not really her. <clears throat> It's not really her. I missed, even though she's huge. Oh my god. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. 
What do I do? Oh, right. Reverse all that. Oh, nice. The Daughters of Ashmod is a... Is it for PlayStation? No, it's a PC. Oh. Have you seen Daughters? Allison did some Daughters of Ashmod. I, I saw it, some of it, yeah. Yeah. Um, it looked like it was slightly too hard in some places. Like, they sort of ramped up the difficulty. But it did. there's a lot of really interesting... Like what? <laughs> like, they change up the progression, so, like, you, you do Undead Bird backwards. Mm. There's a really neat thing where, like, um... Nito is already dead when... Because Nito's dead. Um, when you get there, you can actually take the Death Soul before he wakes up. Hmm, interesting. And it does weird shit, like, the Death Soul, if you take it, it makes you, like, you just can't die. You don't, like, at any point, if you have the Death Soul. Oh, but wow. it, it has a limited duration. It's all this, like, really... That's cool. ...interesting... It pu it's interesting, it puts you on a timer, where it's like, the Death Soul's gonna keep you alive for this long, and you just have to get to a certain... <clears throat> Mm -hmm. And there's no way to die, but there's still enemies. That... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where are you putting your sign? Uh, where it was last time. Oh, so I have to make it all the way there? <clears throat> where the enemies are? Into an ambush? Okay. Okay, if you think that's a good idea, okay, let's do this. I know, right, Ingrid? Can you tell us more about the female? Blind of the Everlasting Dragons with Lightning. Um, I don't know. Is that a reference to... God, I'm assuming that's a reference to Lightning Miracle you get. But, like, the, the I don't know much about 3, and the further you get into 3's DLC, I don't know anything. Like... I assume you mean that the lightning arrow mirror, but like I, I don't know. Um, I only I did ring city like twice and uh, Arian dealt once, and I never really did it again. F. So put your damn sign at the bottom of the stairs where the gargoyle used to be. Okay, I'll put it at the bottom of the stairs leading to the. Okay. How about that? Okay, that's fine. Okay. Another anime I really liked, now that I think about it, was um, Unlimited Blade Works. Yeah? Yeah. Me and my boyfriend call it Unlimited Budget because the anime was so well drawn. Um, it's not that I don't like 3, it's just that, like, it's sort of, I, I know it doesn't make a great deal of sense, so I haven't looked into it. What? What are you, what are you talking about? Oh, Dark Souls, Dark Souls 3? 3. Okay. Because, like, I started out very into... Mm -hmm. And it made less and less sense the more I looked into it. And then, now that I, like, I know, like, for certain from, like, documents and things that they did rewrite a lot of it at the last minute, I'm just like, is it <clears throat> worth looking into a lot of this? Because I know that there is... The answer is just going to be, like, whatever you want it to be, basically. So, like, I'm sure, like, someone's written a brilliant, like, fanfic or theory or something about the, like, the lightning arrows, but, like, ah, uh, it's not like it's in the game anywhere, you just have to. Um, Ornstein and, Ornstein and Snow are both dead by Dark Souls 3. They, Ornstein might have been alive before then. Because they do specify that the Ornstein is, like, an illusion. Like a, a thing conjured up by uh, Gwendolyn. Speaking of Vati, Richie, didn't we have yeah. a podcast where Vati? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, we did. We um, we got uh, in true uh, Sinclair law fashion. Mm -hmm. We were able to get the ex sorry on Steam. We were able to get. Uh, the extremely prominent, uh, well-liked, and popular Souls personality, uh, Vati Vati Vidya, mm -hmm. onto our onto our April Fools episode, mm -hmm. and um, uh, he he is he is on it. That is him. He did. Record. 
<laughs> yeah. And um. And uh, it has less no views. One than... No one watched it, and also a lot. <laughs> think it's me pretending to be him. Yeah, uh, and it has much <laughs> like the time we got Gary from Elroy. Duck Feed on. Yeah. And um, that got fewer views than the time Sin made me stay up till four a.m. explaining statues in Ibrius's boss room and yelling. Sketchy boss arena, sketchy NPC arena. Can you please summon me? Where are you? I'm on the other side. I'm like at the near the the lever. Yeah, Vati got less less views than the lock shield. So we have established. Smo, I, th yeah? Smo, I think is is supposed to be. It's like phonetically written as Sumo, so it's Smo. It's not like Smo or Smo. Like I think that Dark Souls. The reason I go on about the stuff from three so often is that like. The cut story they didn't use, like, it just explains so much of why what's there is there. Like, a lot of things that I thought didn't make mm -hmm. sense turned out they yeah. do make sense. But they make sense in a different ver- it's- Dark Souls 2 was the same, where, like, the reason that game is kind of incoherent. Wow, thanks, um, Richie. Thanks for having my back, bro. Thank you for aggroing this person so they can easily kill me. Appreciate it. I'll be waiting for you in the same. So I guess if... If, um... Bubble is using the source book for Smo. Does that mean it is canonically Stein, not Ornstein, according to the phonetic translation? It's canonically what? Ornstein, not Ornstein. We can finally put this to bed. Ornstein. Yes. Yes, we may. I'm making an executive decision here. Yeah. And yes, we may. Remember when I streamed Deception and one of the characters was called Hornstein? <laughs> Mm. <laughs> His full name is uh, Ornstein Ovald Folex Strine. <laughs> that's that's a little uh, preview of a podcast we have coming up. Yeah. So Richie, we talked about Reborn, but that's not the only anime we covered on this channel. I know, it seems like it, but it's not. Can you tell us about the other stuff people can find in here? We, there, we also have a long-form anime discussion podcast called It Can't Be Helped. Mm -hmm. In which we've covered such anime as <laughs> Dangayo, Cyber City 080, the live-action Giver starring David Hayter, mm -hmm. and soon MD Geist. Mm -hmm. um, if I have free time, look into Walney's Holy Sword Battle... Yeah, okay, I will. Um, I may as well just do that now. Oh no, you're almost where I am. I'll do it after this stream. Is there ever going to be an after? Well, I, I'm kind of surprised that we beat um, the Four Kings as quickly as we did. Because I thought that was going to take a while. Dalek, we are at um, level 5. We're at maximum weapon reinforcement. So I think we should talk about this. How do we make it through the two giants? What? How do we make it through so the giants don't kill us? You just run, because they're slower than Okay, but you run first, and I run after you, and they catch me. Apparently, Goth has an accent. He pronounces words differently. I didn't notice that. I can go visit him. I still have him alive. Do I like Sekiro or Nio better? Um, no, Neo. I like Neo because I am like an RPG builds person. So like Neo, I was able to play through like, as and then I was able to like respec and do all this like cool shit. Whereas Sekiro, you are always uh, John Sekiro. John Sekiro. Mm. 
I'm kind of disappointed his name is actually. Didn't I predict oh, that, though? Yeah. Don't you feel silly when I predict something and then you laugh at me, but then it turns out to be true? Yeah. But it's not like meme laughter, it's just like, oh my god. <laughs> People talking about Bloodborne's Bloodborne also being hacked up, and like, it was, but the <laughs> thing about Bloodborne is that like, they hacked up small parts of like, characters, like, names, and like, where they were placed and things. But it's always basically had the same story and the same set of themes, which was about, like, the church using the blood to commune with the great ones and making them into beasts and stuff like that. So you can sort of, like, you have a lot of leeway to mess around with, like, who is where and who is doing what, because it stays consistent. Whereas with 3, they changed, like, the plot, basically. Mm -hmm. That's why it feels a lot more. And 2 is the same, like, the whole plot changed. It's not, like, they changed around some characters. Like, there's cut stuff from 1 as well. But, um, it's, like, pretty minor. Like, it, one was all, like, one of the cut things is, like, when you, when you fight Pinwheel, he's got this, like, bench behind him with all these, like, sacrificial tools on it. That's because, originally, like, the, the clerics who show up at Firelink, they were going to be, um, Pinwheel was going to try sacrificing them. And one of them was going to be on that bench. And, like, they removed that. But, like, that doesn't change like the way the story fits together whereas with three they like changed like mm -hmm. pretty much everything that happened do we kill the archer or okay i hit him once okay i'll, I'll try to hit him again so it's it's possible that like <gasps> he might did he walk off the side or no oh my god i'm scared i'm going back if you, like, run up and aggro them, they sometimes switch back to the swords and try to follow you. What if, if I... Happens... I have ranged. Oh, fudge. I have ranged! I can shoot a fireball at him! You don't have that much range. Yeah, I do! You'll see, I do. Alright. Gotta believe... If you want, there is, there, we can try poisoning them from a distance with uh, the fog ring. Mm -hmm. I can actually do Like, that's like a fail save. No, no, I got this. <clears throat> Sorry. I got this, I can kill him. I feel like you are like a, like a little anime character. I got this! <laughs> like, before every challenge. <laughs> every rhythm game. Oh. Do -do 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 -do. I got this! <laughs> it's like you rapping appallingly. <laughs> you know, in French, OU is pronounced O and the H is silent. So it's smoke. Yeah. Yeah, it's smoke. Hello, smoke. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> We're here. We're having to come around for sure. Oh god. <laughs> oh, it's no one you know. So if Smug invites you for dinner to to his house, do you like yeah. eat what he serves you or? We gotta be polite. Oh jeez. <laughs> Have you seen that series Hannibal? Uh no. I know I know a lot of people are into it. Yeah. It's pretty neat. I didn't see the last season though. I kind of I don't know why I binged it and then oh, I think because when I was binging it, the uh, the last season wasn't out yet. Mm, yeah, yeah. Should go back and watch it. You know the four knights of Gwyn are Ornstein, <clears throat> Kieran, Goth, and Artorias. Artorias, yeah. Smo 
almost became one, but then they he was a cannibal, so they said. <laughs> but then he ate one of his partners, and they're like, no. <laughs> okay. I can't wait till we beat this so I can my second. So you can what? This, this like horrible cursed version of Alexander I'm trapped in. Oh no. The fire keeper is dead. Oh Jesus. Oh, oh sir, what the F bro, calm down. I hear you was talking smack about Guinevere. <laughs> Okay, you're gonna have to, to beat the other- oh no! I, I was gonna say because I need to conserve my fireballs, but I can beat them with an axe. Lol. Yeah, yeah. You know what would be cool? Like, if Guinevere is really tall, IRL, but you can also play as her. Right, so it's like that, um, uh, the, uh, demolition girl. Yeah! Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, Richard. Right. Okay, I got this. Okay. I got this. Okay, we'll, we'll rush them together. Um, obviously you go first, because if you get hit, the whole thing ends. Yeah. It's like... You're protecting me, somehow. <laughs> yeah, to avoid, to avoid wasting time, you know? <clears throat> the ultimate power move is to do a no death, ah, not because you have anything to put. Dying is a waste of time. Okay, 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 when we do this okay. again... It, no, no, Richie, says, you have to go right, first... I'm answering chat questions! You'll be... No, listen to me, this is important! Chat can wait! So you'll go first, and you'll be a distraction, and then I'll throw yep. a fireball at them. That was that was what I was going to suggest. Okay. The alternative is that I can, like, shoot you... I can shoot them from a distance with the ring of... Someone pointed out my reference to uh, nothing but Luigi. What? It's another old Red Supreme video where there's the guy who's <clears throat> playing as Luigi and nothing but Luigi. <laughs> We're also not going to die. Why waste the time? <laughs> Sims nervous laugh as I explain internet jokes from 10 years. <laughs> Richie? Do you, what? Oh my god, what? Yep, what? yep, yep. Okay, okay, do you see this, this, this elevator? Like the spiral? Yep. Why are you laughing? Ex okay, explain Keep yourself. Keep going. No, no, you explain yourself. <laughs> it's like, I have a thing, and I'm like, what's this gonna be like? Look, it's gonna be really important. Okay, you know this elevator? <laughs> yeah, okay, do you see the spiral? Yeah. Do you know what else looks like that? The path to the Four Kings in New London. No. Does New London no. at the same time? No. Architecture. No. 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 A meat grinder. Think about it. What if that is not an elevator? What if that's like a giant meat grinder? And this is why it's automatic. It's an automatic meat grinder. It makes food for smart. Yeah. And maybe that's yeah. why Aldrich moved in here. So it's like, it's basically like a like a, like it could make like sausages and it's a fancy hot dog stand or something. What if this whole place is a fancy hot dog stand? 
Well, I'm, I'm very sorry that there was a sharp intake of breath then, because that was a very, very useful and sensible thing you just <laughs> Thank you, Richie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe you're actually going to say um, What if Anna Londo's a hot dog? They say, I think it's a blender. You see? Mm -hmm. It's a meat grinder in some way. Yeah. But the sausages it would make, it wouldn't be like hot dog sausages. It would be like, you know, Italian sausages or something like the better ones. Oh, the good kind. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. What if people who are watching this for the first time or are not familiar with our other content really like cryptids? Well, Sin, they can listen to the cryptid podcast. Does it have a name? Is it just the Oh yeah, it does. It does. It's the mysterious world of uh, like Sin and Richie or something. Oh yeah, Richie and Sin. Sin and Richie's mysterious world. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a thing. <laughs> and what did we discuss there? Yeah, I remember. We discussed... Oh, Mothman? Yeah. Well, we started Bobby, with Baba, Baba Yaga. Yaga. which is not yeah. a cryptid. Well, it's a Russian cryptid? It, it started out as, like, folklore, and then it turned into cryptids, because I know more about them than I do about folklore. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you want me to go first? Okay, wait, wait. Let me get my fireball, fire orb. What else do I have? I have four fire orbs. Okay, you go first. Okay. I have my fire orb equipped. You distract him, and I'll be. I'll be. Do you want me to try? If I try sniping him, it. Can... Uh, sure. If you, if you want. Actually, no, I can't. Cause I, oh, I can poison him, but it will take forever. Yeah. Well, this so will this, so it's like. Okay, are you distracting him? Okay. Okay. okay you're doing good, Richie! Okay. Alright. Okay. Is, is there another? Yeah, but he's on the other side if you just keep... Okay, okay you've made it good. We made it this far. Do we go through the fog wall? Yes. Okay. And there's a bonfire. <clears throat> Wait, that's it? So, that was one one guy? That's it? I thought there was well, like ten. There's more in here. No, but still. Okay, well, if you if you move, sir. Um, so if you stay by the bond, mm -hmm. what I might do is I can run through and try to undo the cathedral. What? 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 Oh, don't worry, I'll just leave. We'll just do it. Okay. Hi, Solaire! How are you doing? I'm doing very well. <laughs> what are you what are you up to? Are you just hanging out on the floor by yourself? Well I heard Anna Londo was full of hot dogs. So I came <laughs> here by this bonfire to cook sausage. Oh my god. Yeah. I don't know what sort of idiot would spread the rumor that Anna Londo was full of hot dogs. <laughs> I came all the way here for nothing. Oh. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> I'd be really upset if somebody told me there are like good hot dogs somewhere and I get there and there's none. I feel like you need to play more Wario games. What's that? Because Wario's whole thing is he he just wants money to buy more. Right, Wario. So I he goes on all Warrior. these adventures. Yeah. To yeah. just but just to get food. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I've never played a Wario game. You'd probably like them because a lot of them, like, you can't, um, the one I'm thinking of, you can't die. Mm -hmm. All it is is just, like, it's just time-based. <laughs> so it's, like, how quickly can you beat, like, this thing, not whether you can beat it at all. Hmm. The ending is basically, like, how efficient you are. Hmm. Um, hmm. Rich, I'm gonna try to light this fireplace. Okay. 
Why doesn't it work? It would be cool if it worked. I mean, this is the PlayStation 4. It's the 4 now. They could make it work. <gasps> oh, that. I thought you meant the 5 that you. And it is a game mechanic. Yeah. <laughs> what? When you said light the fire, I thought yeah. the bonfire. No, the bonfire is already lit. Yeah, you were being a trickster. <laughs> That's the fireplace that I would invade in one with Santa. Oh my god. Lol. Did the people appreciate it? Wait, Some Christmas of them got it. I did it on Christmas. Oh. Mm. Where's your sign, by the way? I'm, I'm just putting it down now. No, oh, okay. Um, hang on. Uh. Uh. Okay, yeah, Walnir's um, Lord uh, being swallowed by... Oh, okay, yeah, Wrath of the Gods. Um, and then it says the Wrath of those swallowed by the Abyss. It, does that mean the Gods are swallowed by the Abyss? I I don't know, because Wrath of the Gods has been around since 1. So, like, I think it's... I don't really know. I mean, the Gods being swallowed by the Abyss is kind of like what they're frightened of happening. Okay. Hi, you're Marian. Um, <laughs> we'll skip getting the Havel stuff because I already. So we'll just leave it. I. Where are you? Oh, I was just exploring the hallway and opening doors. Are you on the stairs? I'm just gonna start leaving a trail of Christmas stars. Okay. <laughs> All the chests are uh, mimics, in the way, though. and they just have coins in them that we don't need. Oh, you're here. What did I just say? Well, I couldn't resist. I didn't realize it was gonna eat me. I just wanted to see it. I haven't seen a Dark Souls 1 mimic in a long time, so I was curious. Maybe if you didn't tell me that this was a mimic, I would have ignored him, so whose fault is it really? Uh, Sin hasn't beat. She has beaten Anna Londo, and she's beaten Monstein and Smart, but she has beaten the game. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I think we'll just try to beat Monstein and Smart. Yay. Oh, there you are. That was fast. Oh, yesterday we recorded a very interesting Demon Cells podcast. Wink! Wink! <laughs> Sin, if you say wink out loud, everyone can see you. Wink! Once I edited it and posted, would you suggest that people watch the premiere? Why, yes. I would. Yes. It's a, yes. It's a good one. And also, you're going to edit it with um, footage of Latria before the servers went down, which I took. Oh, so it has the notes and everything. It's very authentic. Yeah. <clears throat> well, Demons of Demon Souls is kind of what, something that we go into during a discussion about uh, what constitutes a demon. Demons of Demon Souls! So, are you going to try the mimic again. Should I? Or are you oh, going... I'm so tempted. No, you can, can you open it? Well, we can shovel Lloyd's towels with it. Okay, and then what? Okay. Well, then if that puts it to sleep. Oh, and then what? I think you can grab the item from it while it's sleeping. Oh my god, you can! Okay, good. Oh my god, it's 
sleeping. Yeah. Oh, look at how cute. Oh, my God, cute little guy. Oh, look at that. Oh, good, it's following you. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I had yeah, to hit for, it. From my, from my perspective, I and then I see you run in, and then I look like something from Scooby Doo. I apologize. I apologize. I, I got it out of my system. We're all good now. <laughs> something out of Scooby Doo. Is that what you said? Yeah, it was like something from Scooby Doo. <laughs> to see this, like. <laughs> New bonfire. Yeah, my sign will be in the same. Mm -hmm. I'm expecting this to end with your dual shock battery running out during the fight with Ornstein and Smo, and I have to kill them both. You're standing in the middle of I don't, I don't think so. No, we'll get there. Let's go. I'm taking it seriously now. We're ready. Right. Do you know what song that was? That was soon as the... Yeah, it's called Tsuna Awakens. Do you remember how cool Tsuna was in episode 26? Robert is asking who is the princess of the eclipse. That is the name for the dancer of the Boreal Valley. Um, like when she when she was a different character. Like I, I don't know what her deal was. But she's there, she's in um she's in like the ruined Anor Orlando, and she's called Princess of the Eclipse. And she drops the doll. Um, the one that you get from Aldridge's coffin. Mm -hmm. She has that on her. And she also shows up in, um... She would have shown up in Lothric at one point, because we have screenshots of it, but I don't know what she would have done there. So if she has a doll, like, Pr Priscilla had a doll, right? Yes. So maybe it's a reference that she's, like, Priscilla's relative, or daughter. It might have been something like that. But also, like, specifically, it's a doll of a Dark Moon, like, character. <clears throat> so she might have had something to do with the Dark Moon. I don't know. Which would make sense if she's, like, of the Eclipse. furniture in, in this and the rooms are not yeah it's, necessarily it's laid not out. it's not as opulent as, as you would hope it'd be yeah it's like yeah. it's almost like they like they just moved in and they only had the time to put on like the um the dead dragon well, i heads. guess like i guess like gwendolyn is running everything so like maybe i guess priorities he's like i don't have time to clean all this shit just yeah. like yeah. marie kondo showed up <laughs> cleaned everything out it's like, do these do these seven dragon heads spark joy? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you know where we are now. Uh, we're near. Uh, we're Guinevere. back where the bonfire is. Oh shoot! Seriously? The bonfire oh, yes. is through here. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see. So I next see. time you spawn, you can just run through here. Yeah. Right. Excellent. I okay. thought we were near, so, near Guinevere, but we're not. No, Guinevere's oh. through here. So we're okay. gonna do one scene and smoke. Yay! You mean smoog? I told you, H's are silent, and OU is pronounced as ooh. A bubble saying the doll is also a bizarre. <clears throat> I guess, like, I don't know, I haven't read that part. Oh yeah, damn. Miyazaki copy berserk? No. 
Oh no, the giant is after you. Oh no, I feel a, I feel an orb. What's happening? That's that's to get the firekeeper back. Oh. So I don't know. You you're gonna have to kill the trek in it by yourself because you. Can't okay. Well, it. I have fire yeah. orbs now. I can just like. Um. Do you want me to give you the stuff you need to like chase? To what? You can chase Latrek. <clears throat> How do you chase him? You put on the Ring of Fog and the Slumbering Dragon Crest Ring, you get up behind him, and then you cast Poison Mist. And then? It just poisons him, and he just stands there and actually dies. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Let's do that. Okay. Okay, I'll just drop that. No, no, you. no, the, the giant. The, oh, okay. no, the arrow. Oh, no. Oh, the arrow, yeah. You know what I realized the other day? What? Um, there's an ear in <clears throat> the Ruin and Orlando in 3. Okay. And there is, oh yeah, it's this guy's ear, because he's like stationed here all the time, guarding the, Oh yeah? Um, oh my god. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Wow, the big guys are so scary. Oof. Okay, okay, okay. Uh... Okay. So, Soler's sign should be where I am now. Okay. Um, I don't know, You may there may be some condition you have to meet. Do you see it? Yeah, I see it. Okay, cool. So, we'll 3v1 on Steam. Um, do you want to take out... I guess we'll take out on Steam first. I'm super smart. What? So. Sorry, what? What? No. Depending on... You know how, like, on Steam and Smo were together, and then the one you kill first determines the second phase. <laughs> oh yeah, so who do we kill? Yeah. Oh, who do you want to kill? I feel like we need to kill Smog first, because otherwise he'll eat us. And that's creepy. Come on, Solar. Why is he Solar walking backwards for you? No, he's chill. He's okay, he off. moonwalked up the stairs for Oh, he was just showing off. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Alright. Oh, look at that. What a cool cutscene. I like this, his design. Yeah. Smug, it's so weird. Him too, he has like a Leo head. Oh, and Cinder Thief was saying how he thinks um, Ornstein's a girl. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, maybe. And I was thinking that he was talking about Smug the entire time. <laughs> Um, okay, okay, I have... No, we kill... I mean, whatever, we kill whoever first, doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. So, once things are growing on me, so... What does that mean? I'm just saying, like, he's probably not gonna bother you, because he's okay. worrying about me. Or she. But I can see why, <clears throat> now looking at uh, Ornstein now, I can see why what Cinder was saying. Yeah, I had a, um, a build that was like, parts of Ornstein set and go together. Dress, sort of. Oh no, okay. Okay, Ornstein down. Oh no, now we're gonna get eaten. I wanna be made into sushi, what about you? So, Smo <laughs> has a very damaging, like, lightning butt slam thing he does. Okay. So I would advise <laughs> hiding him behind- It's gonna be difficult because Solaire's gonna be thing, but like... I would just stay back and, like, fireball. Mm -hmm. I don't have any more fireballs. Good. What? I spent all of it fighting. Can you kill them both at the same time, or is it absolutely? Yeah, if you do it default stones. Okay. Okay, I think this is gonna work because he's massively confused, but. So if we all just keep hitting him. Mm -hmm. 
He can't decide who's more delicious. <coughs> okay, this is the thing you want to keep as far away from that as possible. That yeah, that I can see that almost one. Like that is extremely damaged. The safe way to do it is to just find a broken pillar and like kite him around there. Because he won't move past you, he'll get stuck. Oh shit. Keep hitting! We got this! Yay! Good job! Okay, cool. Alright, you're gonna get the Lord Vessel now. <gasps> the Lord Vessel? Richie? Yeah. It's the Lord Vessel! And for those who don't know, can you tell them if we have a whole episode on the Lord Vessel? Well, it's interesting you bring that up. <laughs> um, we, we attempted to record a podcast about the history of Dark Souls. Right. And it, uh, you asked at the very beginning, okay, but what is the Lord Vessel? Mm -hmm. And that is the entire podcast. Hmm. It was awesome. Uh, it's just you arguing with me about... Hmm. That perhaps you could wear it as a hat. <laughs> yes. Um, what is in it? You're like, no, no, this is the real story. <laughs> oh, look, it's my girlfriend. Hi. Um, there we go. Lord Whistle! Hi, Ingrid. <clears throat> okay. So do you want to try... Oh, shit, I didn't drop the, um, items you need to chase the track. You piece of poop. Hmm. Um, you are going to have to kill the track at some point if you want filing shrine to work. <sighs> okay, but where do I meet you now? <gasps> are Good we question. going to the to the painting? Oh no, I have to get something. You don't. Yeah, I've got the doll. Where do I get the doll? I have to go back to the. Go back asylum. to the asylum. <sighs> yeah. Um. Okay. Do you have um? Now that you can warp, see if you have a a spot called um. Daughter of Chaos open. That'll take you to Quellax system. Uh, how do and I, I should be warp. able. I have. Yeah. I have Daughter of Chaos. Okay, I'll meet you. Um, if you go like further down there into the area. Okay. I will meet you there. Okay. Because you haven't beaten Ceaseless yet. Actually, we can beat Ceaseless because. It... <gasps> I know how to beat Ceaseless. I actually beat him. Yeah. My boyfriend told me. Do you know what my boyfriend yeah. told me? What did your boyfriend tell you? Okay, well he showed- well he didn't show me, he told me, okay, go back, go back, go back, and then Ceaseless like charges at you and like he holds on with one hand and you hit that hand and then he falls. Yeah, yeah. Um, where do I go? Um, go like... <clears throat> Hang on. Um, go like back past Aingi. Right. And then instead of going up the stairs, there's like a tunnel that leads out and it leads to where there's a ton of like, um, the V8 people. Like oh, okay, right, right, right. Got it. Yeah, so if you go there. Mm. By the way, Dalek, thank you <laughs> for the Mars Bar donation. Appreciate it. Dalek yet again, fueling our chocolate addiction all by himself. Woo! I think the goth GF of Dark Souls is either Kieran or Priscilla. Oh yeah, Carl, I'm just thinking. Let's death. GM. Let's Okay, so I'll put my sign down by the demon. It's fine. Uh, is I it here? Be able to... I'm trying to find a place where I can actually put it. Where can you summon for this thing? I don't know. Oh, it might just be before Ceaseless. I'm trying to find where I can actually... It's so cool because I can see Ceaseless from here. Yeah. I think that's him. Big boy. You think it's him? <laughs> well, 
I, I see a giant flaming monster. It might be. I don't know. Oh, okay, yeah. It's on the bridge before Ceaseless. Okay. Got this. Is this so I'll drop you this stuff and then, yeah, when you fall down. So it's on there somewhere, and then I'll drop you the stuff you need. Mm -hmm. Just wait, wait where you are. You've walked past where my sign is. Oh, okay. I'm gonna summon Richie and we're gonna call. And kill Sisla's discharge. Sketchy discharges of soul. <laughs> I usually sing a little song whenever you say something yeah. sketchy, but I can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so, uh, to defeat. Don't go through the fog. Okay, uh, hang on. Slumbering dragon eyes. Fog. And actually, while I'm here, I'll drop you. Flamestone. And the ring of stone protection. Um, uh, that's all. Okay. Thank you, Richie. Do you want to fight Ceaseless? Yeah, let's go. I'm ready. Okay. I've never done this co op, so I don't exactly know. I'll show you. Okay, first, okay. you gotta run here. Oh, uh, oh, oh. Okay. Okay, don't Doesn't panic. Sound promising. <laughs> no, no, wait, no, don't, don't aggro him just yet. <laughs> okay, so it disconnects during season. <laughs> mayday, mayday. The boss that you can one shot with a like an exploit. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Um. Um. Okay, I gotta think about this one. What is this connected to? Let's see. Is this a wire? Oh no! <laughs> oh Jesus! Richard, did you aggro him? No, I summoned town aggro. Okay. Um. Have you seen my wire? I just visited. No. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I haven't been to Canada lately. Oh, okay, okay. I. It was on the floor. I think I found it. Okay. Oh, there we go. Hi! Welcome back. Thank you. Your prisms resurrected me. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. So I guess I can't really. If you're gonna do the exploit, I can't. Okay, I got this. I'll I just, got this. I'll just see. You just like you gotta hide, and then he'll yeah. be like, "Oh my god, there's two of you! Such deception." And I mean, he can't handle any more deception, right? So he's just gonna die of a broken heart. Okay. You know that, like, I oh, don't worry. What? What? You know that you have to, like, wait for him to do a certain... You have to what? Don't worry, just, just do it. What were, what were you saying? That, like, if you just grab the thing and then bolt back, he does a move where he, like, spews lava everywhere. Oh, so you want to be sure that, like, after he does his, like, tantrum thing, you run then. If you run before he does the tantrum... Guy. 
There you go. Just for you. I fed him some fire so he feels better. Because he looks so sad. Yeah. Oh. Did you notice that the fire coming out of him is actually like letters? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So sad. I feel like there should be an option where you do the game, but you guys become friends. There is like an exploit where you don't have to. No, no, we have to. I know, but like... I feel like, you know, this is no life to live. Okay. Okay, I so see you've aggroed him because... Girl! You okay, little guy? You okay? Hey, you're okay. You'll be fine. I think that'd be a good, like, instead of, like, round one fight, it'd just be like, Ooh, girl! <laughs> when you aggro a boss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I can see a lot of fire, like, spewing in the distance. Uh-huh. It's okay. Wait, okay. I can see you. I can see you. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. You just rounded the corner. Yeah, oh. you're rolling now. Okay. Okay, that's a good thing. You, you put down it. the lights so that so that yep. I can see. That's yep. excellent. I think I have to hide behind the pillar. No, you just have to. You just gotta keep running. Yeah, yeah, but then because he's gonna shoot fire, right? So we gotta like, yeah. like crouch behind the pillar. He's gonna, he's gonna do it. He's gonna do a move. I'm scared. Oh, Jesus. Ah! Here he goes. Okay. Oh, we're sorry. Forgive us. Oh. Oh, Alright. I wish every boss in Dark Souls had a secret thing that you could do. At least an NG+, plus, let's say. Or whatever, yeah. you know? Okay. So do you want to end it now, or do you want to yeah, kill, um, um, on kill uh, Latrec, pal? Okay, let's go, let's go try to kill Latrec, and then we'll end it. Okay, I, I can't help you with that, so you're going to have to do it solo. Yeah, but I can teleport yeah. back there, right? Yeah, it's called Chamber of oh, the Princess. This is so beautiful, though. I wish those things existed IRL. What? I wish the prisms existed in real life. Well, you could get, like, colored tea lights or something. Like, these yeah. are so pretty. <gasps> it's like loot. Like if this was Borderlands, this would be loot, you know? Yeah, if this was this is like Diablo and something just exploded. Yeah, exactly. So what do you think of this area? What part of it? Like architectural? Like, yeah, so, like in terms of architecture. Um, it has a really good, like, architectural style to it because they've copied, like, Angle, copied, like, parts of Cambodia. But, um, it, you can tell that, like, this is an area. Because okay? the enemy placement is just, like, like, down below where you are now, there's just, like, copy pasted, I think, 12 Taurus demons. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, this doesn't need to be. Like, clearly there was something else here and you ran out of time, so you shot it. I'm like, it's, I understand, it's... Uh, it happens, it happens, yeah. It happens, but yeah, like, a lot of isolate. And like, when there's just the bottom halves of dragons running around. <laughs> oh, these are, these are a new enemy now. <laughs> oh, hang on, um, check your pyromancy, it doesn't matter if you go back to Ainge. Make sure you have a spell called um, Poison Mist. Where is it? How do I? When you Sapira spell. Um, if you don't have it, Angi will. The daughter. I of I'm already I'm already teleported. What do I do? I don't understand. No, rest of the bonfire and do it to you, man. Okay, okay. Uh... And then, there's one called Poison Mist and one called. Um, how do I go down? Is that all that I have? If you don't have them, you can buy them from Ingi. If you don't have it. Yeah, just walk back to Daughter of Chaos okay. and just buy shit from Ingi. <clears throat> okay. Oh, wait, you may have to get egg-headed. We'll see. Oh, do I try anyway? Yeah, I'll try anyway. 
Do you know that the um, the Eggheads were one of my favorite movies when I was growing up? Yeah. 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 Do you remember it? No. You don't remember? I don't know if Boy. that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. Is that what Green it was? Card. Okay, well in Russian it was called Eggheads. That makes sense. <laughs> that they did have egg-shaped heads. Yeah. Yeah. Thought it was neat. Hey, bruh. Uh, purchase item? Yeah. Servant truster. Just... What does he sell? Servant truster. Oh, you're gonna have to get egg-headed. Can't... Okay, well. Not today, then. Does it take a while? It takes about ten minutes, I think. Oh my god. But you don't... You just have to wait. Ain't nobody got time for that. Alright. Okay, I think we'll end it here. Okay. And I'll think we'll continue another time. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for coming and witnessing this glorious moment where we beat the four kings and Richie can no longer bully me about it. <laughs> I feel like... Also, Ornstein and Smart. Well, I've beat them before. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, I feel like... Um... I feel like the Snack Covenant can move on now. No, you have to do the rest of the game. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, and Richie, because I've never platinumed the game, Richie thought it would be a good idea for us to stream Platinum Bloodborne one day. But we'll take yeah, I feel like the next like challenge you should do is to Platinum. Because <laughs> that's, like, that's the quickest to Platinum. You don't have to... <laughs> I mean, the Chalice Dungeons are a kind of grind. Like, you don't... Mm -hmm. It's like you'll have to kill something over. Listen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So. It'll mostly be chalice done. So. Yeah. Yeah. True. But um. So what we have coming up in the next few days is, uh, empty geist at some point. Well, more than the next yeah. few days, but at some point we'll have empty geist. Um, yeah. I'll, I'm editing more Reborn, the last, whatever, seven episodes, so that will come out one day. And mm -hmm. we have a very good Demon Souls podcast. Wink, yep. wink. Yeah. Are you winking back? Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. That I think people will like. Okay. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I, I guess that's it. Yeah. And we have a new character who joined our Snack Covenant family. Which one of the, like, four that we came up with today? <laughs> no, I was talking about Nostradamus the Vampire. <sighs> Nostradamus the Vampire! <laughs> Nostradamus! I predict they will not be appearing again! <laughs> wow, you're amazing! This is even worse than the Bruitus! <laughs> He, he is accurate, I'm going though. to stand over here with Darkstalker Keith. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's true. Frank and Keith. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. Frank and Keith. Frank and Keith. Everything is good with Frank and Keith. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you so much for coming, everyone. And y'all have a nice rest of the day and a nice week. Don't forget to check out our other podcasts, such as Reborn, Reborn, and More Reborn. And we'll see y'all around. Bye! Bye!